Hey guys, uh, welcome back to 13 Sentinels Ages Rim. It's big pain, big pain. Oh god, I guess you can already tell that I haven't slept very much again. Um, still, it's big brain time again. You know, we are playing 13 Sentinels Ages Rim again, and uh, yeah, I mean, what else is there to say, right? We gotta save the world, sir. Uncover more mysteries. See how this all plays out. I'm kind of ready, I hope. So I actually set everything up here. Okay. Uh, I guess let's uh, get into the swing of things with a little bit of story, right? To get the our gray matter working here. Ah, uh, settle in. So. Who are we going to play as? I'm thinking either Yuki or Keitaro, because apparently they have the lowest completion percentage that we can actually play. So why not do a little bit of detective work here, right? I think we left off with Yuki when she found Sentinel number 14 and basically got captured by Renya and Ryoko. So let's see how that continues. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just messing around a little bit with the settings. That is why the autosave is more up to date than the save file loaded. Something major though. Also, we basically found out that Erika Aiba, the schoolgirl that has been following around Yuki, helping her in her investigations, isn't actually the schoolgirl Erika Aiba at all. And she actually looks like... yeah, there she is. Uh, as far as I can tell, she's probably going to be the android that 4 to 6 is currently inhabiting. Let's see what happens. However, it could still be that Fortune 6 hasn't yet. I'll infiltrate it, I want to say. そう言わせ。ああ、そう言わせ。ああ、そう言わせ。ああ、そう言わせ。ああ、そう言わせ。ああ、そう言わせ。ああ、そう言わせ。ああ、そう言わせ。ああ、そう言わせ。ああ、そ
なんかいるか私は結構です。ゆっきちゃん。あみぐち。やっぱり。俺たちは運命の赤い糸で結ばれてる。<笑>お前な。I wonder if she was actually married to him in 2018. No, 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 that wouldn't make any sense. Because Tetsuya Ida is all about Chomi. Yeah, forget that. Hey, she, oh, she. Vitamin C, oh, how did you eat? Not Jango, no, 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 デートしようよ。しない。つうかさ、このやりとり何度やりゃ気が済むんだ。それはもちろん。デートしてくれるまでさ。今日はバイクがあるんだ。中にあら。いいですね、バイク。ああ。誰子ちゃん？ そいつはワトソンらしいぜ。え？外国人さんかよ。そうなんだけど。悪いけど、今日はお前を相手する時間がない。私たち忙しいんです。そっか。じゃあ仕方がないね。珍しく素直じゃないか。強引に誘って
特務機構のことは秘密だから愛はに知られないよう一人で行かないとああ There we go。悪いな。ちょっと用事を思い出した。今日は操作終了だ。カビ臭いな。Yeah, that is why we needed the box and the old school building keywords. Too sad to think about them. 島のの施設に兵器らしきものはだがゴートたち私を裏にあるここだ。So、it ここだあったあった。なんか映写してたよな。ノノメリオコはどうやって動かしてたんだどこかにスイッチは見当たらねえな箱といえば箱かな<笑>なっちゃんがこれを隠してたあの部員に見せて確認したいけど。高宮ゆきそうか高宮でかしたぞやつから奪ったんだな秘密情報秘密情報そのデータユニットがそうだお前にも捜索の指示が出ていたんだないやこれはともかくよくやったそのままやつってのは誰だ聞いてないのかえいここに入った気がして追いかけてきたんだ関ヶ原えい秘密情報を狙う凶悪犯だ凶悪ってほどじゃないさ<笑>お前かお前かお前かってるだけだおい勝手に触るなそこから離れろお前はこれが何か知っているのか機密情報だとそいつら AI 機能起動三浦俺がわかるか記憶を戻したなここはセクター4桜高校の急行者だ大変だやけろかおきかりに夏のだってへえいがん夏のって南な夏のの子とかなっちゃんがどこにいるか知っているのか。高宮ゆきだ。それより、早く教えてくれ。ガズロッパ。南ガズロッパ。私の最後の記憶では。彼女はセクターセリーに置き去りにされている。So、セクターセリー。行けばわかる。行こう三浦抜け道がある。ああ、いいね。もちろんだ。はい。That's what I've been playing with her the whole time, right? Alright, so since we have been looking for her this whole time, I guess this takes place after everything we have done with Natsuno so far. じゃねえかやっぱり
なっちゃんもここに来てたんだここがそのセクター3ってわけじゃねえだろ何しようってんだお願い動くなよどこにいるんだなっちゃん他に行きそうなところはタイムトラベルも本当だったなんてなっちゃんはこんなところに何日も探せば缶詰なんかは見つかる無茶さえしなきゃ生きられるはずだ危険な場所へ行ってないといいがこの町に何が起こったんだ D に襲われた怪獣のような機械の群れだ奴らの攻撃で住民も消えた次に狙われるのはお前の住む町だ今取れる対抗手段は騎兵で戦うことだけだ騎兵高宮お前にも関係がある話だ私もあれに乗って戦えというのか見たのか四季島の施設で14番というのを見た涼子さんの騎兵か<笑>帰ってきた<笑>時間通りだなおいどうだったんだ最悪の事態もあり得るかバカ言うな生きているとしたら建物の奥まった場所か遠出したかかなっちゃんえまずは Okay. <laughs> Actually, where did we left leave off with Natsuna? Seeking identity. On finding remains of the we never discovered that she is actually a robot manufactured by Shikishima. Oh, yeah, it just ended there, right? I mean, you know. While we are playing with her, I want to go for another round. So, they've made it back, apparently. ま町も襲われてあんな風になっちまうだと。簡単には信じられない。急行車で出会ったのは黒服に覆われる関ヶ原という男だ。しばらくは教室で三浦と一緒に隠れているはずだ。なっちゃんを助け出すには、あいつら
未来の廃墟に置き去りにされてるまだ見つかっていないが必ず I guess Verso is actually best to think about all this stuff at the start. Because deadly gets you more clues. Alright, can we go? Yeah. <laughs> どういう風にそう。どうします。うん。こっちは遊び。まあ、私はいい。ねえ、ねえ、ねえ。うん。え。オールイズ高校者の女子トイレでの事件。もう何か困っているのならいつでも相談に来て。玉尾さん、連絡も取らずどこに行ってたの？一度戻りなさい。分かったわね。ああ。聞き込み、うん、なんて。森村が握らせてきた小さなメモだ。これは私にやらせたいことがあるらしい。まずは相場に声をかけるか。オッケー。ちょっと帰りに調べたいとこがある。付き合ってくれ。もちろん。Check の午前中授業をサボって行ってきたんだ。どこへ。え、会話。相場エリカが入院しているああ。本物の相場はまだ入院中だ。保険の森村はお前のことを玉尾と呼んでいた。本当の名前は玉尾なのか。見破られたか。そうなんです。私はクラベ玉を悪気があったわけじゃないんですよ。こういう謎があった方が探偵物語っぽいと思いません。さすが高宮さんです。女子トイレで事件があったろ。何です急に。あの時、木更木民が二人目を見つけたんだ。そこにいるのは関ヶ原か。おい。何やってんだ。これは。
中身が入れ替えられたようだ奴が姿を変えて逃げたんだ奴ってのは泉十郎大量殺人の犯人だ意識だけになった今も何か企んでいる、はあ、そこの掃除道具入れに突っ込まれていた壊れたボディをここに隠したんだここは北校舎の裏手だ女子トイレを壊したもう一人の如月富はこれかロボットおかしいって思うよな私も気になってたんだ一体やつが何と入れ替わったのか yeah, talking, ジロボットがお手洗いを壊したかみんな信じるかな何のマシンだっけ敷島重工の施設に忍び込んだ時私の体のことを聞いたよ頻繁に誰かに何かされてるってな<笑>どうした急に黙って頻繁っつったって私と一緒にいるのは<笑>お前だけだもんなもう高宮さん落ち着いてください何の話か全く分かりませんよ相葉エリカでなく比べたまおでもないキサラギそっくりのロボットで逃亡した意識だけの存在お前は殺人犯の泉十郎という男だ<笑>私が男大丈夫ですか困ったなきちんと記憶は消していたのに。正体を表しやがったな今度はかなりの記憶を消さないとダメだなそうはいくか後ろを見ろ<笑>ガシャわなか森村の提案さ久しぶりに顔を合わせてみれば女子高生のふりまでしてイカれてるわね十郎この宇宙計画をぶち壊してでも生き残りたい君よりは正気だこれはあなたと私のためなのよ私たちは生き残るおかしくなった今のあなたじゃなくここで目覚める前のあなたと共にね15人はその犠牲になるわけだ犠牲じゃないこの方が彼らも幸せに生きられる真実を知ることなく未来は閉ざされても以前すみれ橋であなたを撃ったわここで撃つのはこれで二度目ね近づかないでまだ反応があるうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっうっ忙しくなるお前らの相手をしてる暇はない待て<笑>飛び降りた
の状態でこの高さを飛ぶなんていくら頑丈でも無事で済むはずがまともに動けるはずがないこの付近を包囲してくださいはっあなたはまっすぐ帰るのよ落下地点を探すわはい相葉Conscious criminal. Oh, yeah, that is what unlocks Kuro again. All right, all right, all right. Because she is now locked, all right? Could unlock him again, though. So I guess it's time to have a go with、uh, Ninji or Tomi. Oh, well, let's go with Ninji, I guess. Because we haven't checked up with him ever since,、uh, you know, this train platform stuff. Yes. So why don't we do that? Still here. <laughs> oh, this time it's straightforward, though. <laughs> いいかここから動くんじゃねえ一歩もだ動くなよ<笑>なんであんたの命令聞かなくちゃいけないわけなんとか言えよたわし頭ポンパドーグそれはゲス謎の声はあいつだ最後にチラッと姿が見えた。冬坂と一緒にいた野郎だ。Oh, yeah, that's right. 世界を滅ぼすため、怪獣に命令を出しているやつが15人いる。あのおかしなおっさんのよた話を信じるのかここからどこへに逃げ場はないこのすぐ後にあいつらがやってくるこんな話したって誰も信じねえ So I guess you gotta talk to Pina 待ち上がれリーゼントなんだその言い草さ、はあ right. もしもあと数分でこの世界が終わるとしたらおめえはどうするえヤブカラボーニーなんなの知りてんだおめえの気持ち数分かちょっと短くないそうだな数分じゃどこにも行けそうもないしあんたと言おうかなちょっとだけここで待っててほしいダメかい,いいけど<laughs> They have kind of, kind of a strange with sweet relationship, I want to say
No, what? Are they just gonna get on the train? Yep. ありがとう。心配するな。まだ失敗したわけじゃない。ここはどこだ。何がどうなってんだ。知らなくていい。君をすぐ戻す。はい。俺に何をしてやがる。驚いた奴だ。どうやって僕の制御下から抜け出したん
リガプログラムなんてそんなもんどうやって探すんだ君には鍵と分かる形に見えるだろう駅でならねどういうことだ君が D の制御キーを誰に渡したのかその記録を君から取り出したいのだがそれは君の記憶と密接に結びついていて君じゃなきゃ引き出せないそれで君の意識をこうして操作して鍵を探させているちょっと待てそれじゃああの駅は貴様はここから一歩も動いていない駅は貴様の頭の中で作られた幻だ嘘だろ分かったぞ君がどうやって抜け出したかその駅には僕までいるのか僕のアクセス ID を利用して僕の操作を解除したわけだ対処しておこうさて理解を得たところでもう一度戻ってもらおうま待て暴れるなよ探索中に無理やり装置が外れれば二度と起きられなくなるぞ<笑>鍵を探せ殴ってすまなかったな。Again. 覚悟を決めろ。自由になりたきゃ、協力するしかないぞ。Ah, I didn't get to use that thought cloud thing. Oh, that was a while ago. Well, I don't know about you guys, but this is getting serious here, so. Let's jump right back in. Kind of interested to see how this plays out. <laughs> Still always the same. Anything to change though, no. Fuzakenna. Korega. Oreno Ataman Nakaret Skridas the Mosotato. Kokoni Rikisaragimo. Fuyusakano. Wajima Tajimo. Nisemono da Tenoka. Sekai Horobos Tame. Kaiju ni Mereo das de Riazga. 15人いる俺もその一人か怪獣に命令するプログラムのキーか俺には鍵に見えるそうだが冬坂がなんで悪党団のあの女に見えたんだ But she is. どうしたのよ私なんか気に触ること言ったねえ無視しないでくれる It's going to be Kuro, isn't it? おめえは本物のキサラギじゃねえ俺が頭で作った幻だ突然何を言い出すのよ頭大丈夫何か悪いものでも拾って食べたもう俺に喋りかけんな That was harsh Oh so Okina's now gone Ogata kun Nani? Ine Dare o sagashite iru no? Yeah, 
embarrass himself out of you. Yeah, it's Juro now. Yeah, he was there in the very first memory. なんか妙だぜ。君はそうやって誰にでも絡むのか。おめえ、鍵を持ってねえか。何の鍵？怪獣に命令するための鍵だ。怪獣に命令？おかしいか。随分子供じみた遊びだ。おかしいよな。おめえが好きそうな話題なんだが。残念だけど。電車が来たのでこれ以上君の話には付き合えないな。逃がすかよ。ちょっと電車違うよ。Not for me it isn't. どうして逃げるんだ。あ。この電車は違うだろ。岡田明治。どれに乗っても結果は同じだ。怪獣にやられる。だろうな。てめえは比べじゃねえ。やれやれ。泉記録の隠し方がずさんだったな。本人に掘り起こされるとは。てめえ、誰だ。消えた。あ、なんつうの。後ろにいるの。南じゃねえか。しかも持ってんのはなぜだかわかるぜ。そいつが鍵だ。君はこれがどういう行動か知って手探し出したのか。鍵が何か理解しないで、むやみに知ろうとするな。その鍵は怪獣を操るプログラムだ。南夏野がその鍵の所持者だ。それを知って彼らが何をする気か知ってて君は協力しているのか彼らは誰も助けられはしない信じるな南夏野をひどい目に遭わせたくないだろてめえは信じられるってのか誰だかもわからねえのに俺は泉十郎別の世界から来た比べ十郎だ別の世界お前たちを救いに来たんだそのために彼女の制御キーを守ってるやっと見つけたぜ南が持っているあれが鍵だここからどこへ逃げ逃げばこのすぐはこんないいだろう俺が信じられなくても鍵を見たことは忘れろそうはいかねえその鍵が世界を滅ぼすんだろう俺に任せるなら悪いようにはしないだが南夏野の鍵が見つかれば彼女がただで済むと思うか確かに俺を拉致って脳みそいじる奴らだ南も同じ目に遭うかもしれねえ死の目良子のように壊されるか命を奪われる彼らは南夏野を生贄にするだろうよく考えろ
<laughs> That's the big question here, isn't it? Well, at least now we know that actually Natsuno has the key. This is pretty interesting. I don't know, man. I'm just digging this shit right now. Let's go ahead with Nenji again. I mean, he's probably going to get locked off after this anyway. So I guess we probably just have to talk to Fuyuzaka again. That's probably not what we have to talk about. Eh. Where's Fuyuzaka? Fuyuzaka is.
Kizaragi is coming along, good. Wait, can we talk to Ryoko? I think we did that, didn't we? So we have to get some this train. <laughs> Just have to wait for the next one. Get in that train. Taku. Why is Megumi here now? Oh, that will just unlock all of his memories, huh? And send him even further down. Let's go even deeper down the rabbit hole, don't we? Yep, I knew it. He got locked. So yeah, that was when Megumi got into the facility there. Uh, when was that? Was it during Ace story where we saw that? I think so. Alright. Alright, alright. So, uh, Kitaro? Oh, Tommy. You know what? Let's go with Tommy because she has the lowest percentage completion and she kind of ties in with Ninji, so. Still on. Yeah, she went to their school or tried to, couldn't get there. 
but she talked in Angie about the Battle of 2025. Oh, this is a, a day two now. I think else happened on day one. Yeah. Yoko? What is she gonna do? Some post apocalyptic shopping? It's going to stay here all the time. Yeah, they all probably... Let's check all of them. Check all of them. Oh yeah, I have to talk to Benji about that.
何あれラジコンみてえだな怪獣どもの仲間か Would that be BJ looking for Natsumi? Natsuno? How can you tell about just looking at the stairs? Oh, guess we gotta go back then. Can we do that from here? No. Always gotta return to base first. Ah, he found something. Maybe. Yep. Now we can go. ここは外れみたいだな。あんたはどこにいると思う？さあな、見当もつかねえ。とりあえず戻ろうか。あのロボットのところへ行くのか。ミワコ、待ってて。気をつけて。すぐに戻ってくるぜ。うん、それです。どうしてこの場所なんだ。もし先輩が学校へ行こうとするなら。ここが近道だから。そうか。道が崩れてるとは思わないもんな。気平か。出がかり、見つかりそう。Oh, uh, not here, I guess. Oh. Okay, something else to see. Oh, not. Shinonome-senpai. どこにいるんだろう。悩んでも仕方がねえ。行くぞ、キサラギ。うさみちゃん。おんねんじ、ヘリーだ。そう、いいぞ。学校へ行くわ。先輩も学校に向かったのかも。あの道を大回りして行ってみるか。ミワコ、待ってて。気をつけて。すぐに戻ってくるぜ。Well, this is starting to look promising. Actually, the first good look you get this school, huh? Oh. So they dug down right in the near the school, huh? Yatsura nan no tamini konna oana o. Suana ni demo suru ki ka? Are wa wakusei kaitaku no doboku kikai desho? Imi naku ana o aketeru no? 
何かあるんじゃないこの下に何があんだよ例えばの話よ結局こっちにも一っ子一人いやしねえ何で少し探してみないとおいあそこアンレイスのラストプレイスを見つけておい待てなんかやべえそいつはあん時のドロイドだぜ壊れてるみたい元気みたいだぜそうだ。シロノメ先輩が。ガン。あ、シーアクティベートだ、ライン。いない。ベルウェイフォーメン。今でそこにしゃがみ込んでたのに。え、だれすごい。逃げたのかな。なっこい。リオコさんもここにいるのか。あんた。森村の仲間。どうかな。未来人なのここよりまだずっと先のなおいてめえなんでキサラギ知ってんだジェイス、sorry guys あれは、like、I said, little sleep. あの探査機が君たちを見つけた君たちはまだ残っているとは思わなかった私たちが来たのを知ってたのすまない君たちは巻き込まれたんだそうだな君たちも地下のゲートへ連れて行くしかないな涼子さんが一緒だったからもう戻ったとばかり思ってたよ地上のゲートはどこも封鎖されてるここから出られず俺も困っていた戻れないの地下に降りればあるいは地下には転移装置の本体がある地上のゲートは本体を遠隔操作するためのアクセスポイントに過ぎない地下ってもしかしてこの穴の下これを降りろっていうのそういうことだ Should be easy enough, eh? Great hole. Actually, I wonder, would we have even needed to get to any of, go to any of these? It doesn't seem that way now, does it? <sighs> Let's see if I can finally manage to get back home. Don't forget about Miwako. Miwako, Usami chan. Shinonome senpai, ita? Mitsuke tan da kedo. Gakkou no atari de miu shinat chimatte. Ima, Sekigahara te yatsu ga sagashite ru. Tore? Ore ra igai ni mo, koko ni itan da. Sare yori, kaede sou da yo. 1985年に本当美和子を迎えに来たの準備はいい美和子ううんす
関ヶ原が信用できるかわからねえが急ごうぜちょっと待って Hold on, why? That was just in the nick of time now, wasn't it? I got to think we are in the depths now.
1985年へ移ろう三浦頼むセクター4に薬がある先輩はああ驚かせたが今は大丈夫だ彼女の病気って何なの騎兵での戦闘中事件があった俺たちに記憶障害が起きたのはそれからだそこにつけ込まれて利用されてる涼子さんは俺より症状が深刻だ1985年に移動できそうだ準備する少し待ってくれえっそのつかないやなこの機械って森村も使ってるのこうやって俺たちが操作できるのは彼女が機能を追加したからだ何だろうこれタッチタッチ is never good Who's piloting number 16 again? It's Ryoko, isn't it? Oh, 
Well, at least it worked, I guess. That's how he lost his AI. あの地下のコンピューターにそうでしょ、エイ君この世界に影響が出ないように真実を知られないようにユニバーサルコントロールは密かに人々を管理しているんだいろいろ知った彼女を世界に不都合と判断したんだろう Are you trying to tell me that Miwako is dead now? No. No, that can't be. During the battles, they were talking about her, so there is some way to get her back. Alright. Our characters are starting to get locked behind um, the battles now. Which isn't very convenient, I want to say. Alright. That convenience may be a little bit... Uh, not the right word, I guess. Um, But yeah. How about we... Take a step back from the story here for a moment. And uh, drop back into this. Ah, Shibugaki City, battle number three. Now I should probably save before I end this time. So yeah, Shibugaki City, battle three, wave three. Modified mobile factory RPF Kaiju. Ijima on the strike team. Oh, that's a bit of a problem because <laughs> Ichima is a bit brain overloaded at the moment. Ah, shit. So I guess we will not do this battle then and instead go back to one of the early ones. And, uh, you know. Just take basically a free one for now. I mean, not too bad, I guess, because it gives us a chance to get a few more meta chips to upgrade our people here. Actually, I've been thinking about taking this, or enhancing this rather, because what actually happens is, if you look at the top, uh, lower right corner there, where it says score, um, that actually gives us thresholds to reach in order to get more mystery points which help us unlock you know more of the mystery files and I kind of want to know what's going on more so yeah let's go ahead and enhance that a bit yeah you know what let's just go all the way here we do have the points for that mm, I think I even want to 
increase that. Because that was quite useful, actually. But before we do that, let's uh, assemble a strike team. I think I want to go with him. And her. And probably also take Goto. We already have Amiguchi. Let's bring A. Many ground kaiju. Probably her and her. Yeah, because these two work well together. What kind of upgrades do we need? He already has that. I actually want to try and go for passive bonuses first. Because they are all pretty lethal, actually. So if anybody has any passive abilities that they do not yet have. Kind of iffy about that. Oh yeah, she can also get super large missile. It's also pretty good. Consecutive ray gun shots. Oh hell yeah. Get that instead of the flame torpedo, flare torpedoes. Yeah, Amiguchi. Probably go for shield repair. I and mean, that is probably useful for some of our melee units. So I'll get her that. Because he still doesn't have a whole kit. And again, I'm starting to go low on uh, meta chips. Oh, actually. I haven't done any of these Sentinel upgrades. Experience. So they get more experience out of that, huh? Actually, I might want that on her. Oh, you can actually... Ah. I see. So it starts needing more and more. Okay. just a few points to get that up one more level because I think once it is at plus two your pilots can actually go for three battles back to back before they have to take a rest Okay, I think we will leave it at that for now, so... Um, and let's replay this battle. Should give us quite a bit of score, I believe, and of course experience, which is also good. Just listen to that. Yeah. 
のか知らねえが上等じゃねえか well, as long as we have to Nenji Oh, I forgot to get the passive ability for Kisaragi. Ah, get down. Yeah, let's plop down some defenses first. Let's actually have a start to move. Guess we can just defend for now. Recover some EP. Oh, yeah, you can just you know, recharge. Oh, let's hope that leap gets rid of the drum mine. Didn't. Actually, multiple drone mines are accompanying that. And of course, I don't have enough of that now. Maybe if he moves. situation. That thing is actually nearly out of juice anyway. Might be able to clear it up with just that. Oh, then again, there's a second one over there. So maybe if I can just go ahead and attack both of them? I have both of them in range now, don't mind that. Ah, oh, come on. It's gotta, wait to, gotta be a way to hit both of them. That's still had way more health than I thought it would have. Probably well, wasn't a good choice to do this then. Should have just gone for the demolisher blade. You need to just plop down more sentry guns. Two consecutive shots of that would be good here. Alright, all of this has been cleared anyway. So you can just come over here. Yeah, number 16. Oh, wait, is that the AI? You know, the idol singer. Anybody else that has um, no? So I guess I'll 
guess we'll just jump in here. Start clearing ship. You can help with that, I suppose. I guess I could use more interceptors. Actually, do those despawn? I don't think so. Which makes them really, really good. Alright, let's do it. Yes, that's so much damage. Pretty low on EP, so maybe take a turn to defend. That's the high quad, right? You know what? I want to see that in action. Let's see how much damage it actually does. Seems to be pretty lethal. Uh, sure. All the sentry guns. Uh, yeah, just wait for a moment there. Okay, what do we have? More high quads and workers. So let's go ahead and wreck them. can't do shit to me. I mean, they're not even attacking, which isn't fun. Just try and hit me. Okay. I don't think I need to place even more of these sentry guns. Got quite a few already. Just start clearing house here. No, I actually gotta move a second generation sentinel. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of him. I don't need you to do anything else, I guess. Yeah, this thing is going down. Okay. That was an easy one. Oh yeah, those two actually took quite a bit of damage. Kaiju nerd. Yeah, 
Yeah, 11% damage. Holy shit. Yep. <laughs> I think a high score multiplier definitely helps out. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, so I guess we can now do this. Um, so... Why don't we actually go ahead and do it? Okay. And we got quite a few meta chips again. So I think I actually want to go ahead and get that. Let's actually assemble a strike team. So we need Hijiyama. Another mobile factory kaiju will appear. What does this pilot skill do? The more Kaiju there are, the higher all stats increase. Okay. You know, let's actually try to give him this. Because, you know, with consecutive uh, deployments, his weight recovery increases more and more. Uh, that should help him out quite a bunch. Mm. I think I actually want to bring Ryoko. Then I could just bring these two. We have interceptors, right? Yeah, but definitely need some more upgrades to them. Oh yeah, definitely get that as well. Yeah, I think that is better than the flare torpedo, right? Shield matrix. I kind of want to get counter for her. Then again, I could use these 11 points. Um, you know, 11,000 points, sorry. Let's do that on her, even though she is rain overloaded at the moment. I want to get. I mean, team barrier sounds actually kind of nice. Protect everyone. I don't know what in range means. Let's grab the team barrier for some kind of. Um, Defensive measure, I suppose. But let's have a look at our skills. Skills setup. I mean, I can't get it now, but I could actually, you know, give him limiter removal. Just drop him down wherever in a sentinel, in a cluster of sentinels. Put a shield on him, and just let him go to town with counter. I kind of like the sound of that. Also, if he's my only melee attacker, let's maybe put in Demolisher Blade instead of the Attractor. Okay, 
what else can I upgrade? I think I just upgraded him, so that's fine. Yeah, what about Natsuna? Actually, not yet kinda sold on her. Don't know good setup for her stuff. So I guess we'll just upgrade that a bit for now. On the long range missiles. And then we are pretty much set for this forge, I suppose. Let's get the Marshall Blade. Got all of that. And with us. Actually, I don't think you will ever use the stun knuckles, will you? Uh, I don't have another ability for it anyway, though. Yeah, so let's just leave it at that for now. Okay. Damn, this has been going on for hours now. They got upgraded fast. Okay, so what does it do? Mobile Fakua, Shinu Tansayo, and Seke Sareta Robot to you. Naibu no Nanomachin Rode, Sozai Go Sekara, Seke Madekonas Kukukno Sezo Kojo, Jibun Tachino Fukse Utskritas, Hanshok Suruti Doki of itself. Masani Kaibutano. I got Skritas Dimo Shingatano Yoda, Kioskate. All right. Things are definitely starting to heat up here. I mean, if that thing can replicate itself, that doesn't sound very good now, does it? Alright, anyway, as always, plop down some sentry guns. And some interceptors. And even more interceptors. And then have him move over to the RPF, try to take that down as fast as he can. Then again... <laughs> I guess I could just use that first. And then follow up with her. Wow! Really? Still have that much HP even after I drop this super missile on it. Holy crap. That nearly didn't do any damage. So, Ijiyama, we need you. Oh, these things are tanky. Holy crap. Oh shit, she's completely out of EP. Getting a bit worried about Ijiyama. Because he's all out alone near that thing. Starting to demolish it there. I don't even know if these factories can attack themselves. I'm actually starting to doubt it. Mm, 
Yeah, you have enough to do that. Should at least get rid of the molar. Okay. So yeah, there's yet another factory over there. And over there. I guess the interceptors can take care of that, so let's move him over there and try to get down that factory. Alright, he's good to go again. He's pretty low on P though. Could still fire the railgun to get rid of this though. Actually, we have a full gauge. Is there anything we can do here? I could just go ahead and deploy more of these. It's not that it costs us anything. I suppose we'll have the meta chips to do that again pretty soon. Some more interceptors. Need more allies out on the field. Still don't have enough to do that again, huh? Okay, so just keep defending then. Alright, how are we looking? That factory is going to go down in just a second. Some more stuff coming in from here. This one is starting to move as well. So let's at least get rid of the small fry over here. Start doing a little bit of damage on that RPF. I guess he could shoot down that hunter. Then again, now just charge. You should be close enough to hit both of these factories. So, good to work on those. Good damage. You can immediately go again. After that, he will be out of EP though. Let's have a quick look here. There's a factory over there. There are two factories over here. They are attacking whatever. Yeah, it's all just factories. Holy crap. He has to charge them. You can just drop more interceptors. Keep shooting these things, I want to say. Ooh, that's a little damage. Okay, more interceptors out on the field. And more sentry guns. I could deploy more of these, but I kind of don't want to do it. Simply because um, I don't know if there will be another wave or not, so I'd rather not. And just keep punching them. All right, destroyed one factory. Oh, he's getting attacked though. Not for long. Just drop more interceptors. That is what you are here for. <laughs> we didn't even take that much damage actually. Okay, can we go around here? No, we don't have enough movement with that. So let's just move the old-fashioned way then. Get them closer to the action. Yeah, do you have to defend? Uh, you could shoot whatever. Yeah, I think this spell is nearly one at this point. And just soften this up a little bit. rid of the small fry again. Should be close enough to use the demolisher blade. Yep. This spell is pretty much over at this point, I suppose. It's only factory over there that's still alive and kicking. Yeah, 
actually want to see the Plasmark Fusion Core in action, but I don't think I will make it over there in time. Uh, I can try though. Let's see how much damage that does. 15,000! Oh, crap. I should definitely invest in the Neuralink for all my Generation 2 Sentinels. <laughs> Holy crap. Or we might actually fail other sentinels. Sixty two enemies, actually. <laughs> All right, okay. The city took a little bit of damage, a little bit <laughs> like point four percent. Works for me. Can't cat food. Yeah, we have so many mystery files to go through now. So, yes, yeah, we have 16 mystery points. So why don't we go and do that? But first, I would just take a small break, like a minute or so. I just have to go ahead and use the bathroom and get something more to drink. Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So let me close the window because it's getting quite chilly now. All right, guys, I'll see you in a minute.
All right, let's take a look at some mystery files here. Lusaka is the original resident of Sector 1, and the parents she knows aren't her biological family. Morimura is transplanting her own memories into Fuyuzaka due to Fortress 6's influence. Morimura's memories are perceived as a hazy dream. In the Kaiju PLA 5, Fuyuzaka musters up her courage and activates Sentinel Number 15, which Sigigahara passed on to her. Okay, what do we know about Renya? After seeing Morimura's logs in the mainframe, Kojo visits the Kuraba house in 945 to abduct Morimura's clone, Chihiro, and restore her original memories. Ah. Agata was the original holder of the decode key, but Natsune Minami is the one who currently has it. In order to prevent the kaiju from destroying the world, Kino searches for whoever is sending the decode signal that calls the kaiju. In 1945, Tamao exhausts herself from the burning ruins of the post kaiju invasion and disappears as Keito Miura and the others watch. However, she is not truly dead. Instead, she remains on the life support inside her pod, waiting for the end. Wait. Does that mean that... Um... The people, even in the invasions, don't actually die. They just get sent to some sort of life support system. So should we actually manage to get rid of all the Daimos and halt all of the attacks, that humanity could actually go ahead and repopulate all of the sectors? Would that be a happy ending after all? Also, why didn't I go ahead and unlock these mystery files that were locked here? Riko Doji is Professor Doji's daughter. She's visiting the factory on behalf of the professor. Riko Doji is actually a cover identity and is actually Tsukasa Okino, temporarily pre presenting as a girl. The real Riko Doji is in Tokyo. Erika Aiba is a student in Class 1D. She's a mysterious girl who has a unique point of view, despite her placid personality. As a lover of mystery novels, she enjoys comparing Yuki Takamiya to Holmes and herself to Watson as she assists in Takamiya's search for Natsune Minami. Oh, we know that much. According to Nenji Ogata, who is in the same class as Aiba, the girl named Aiba has been absent from school for a while now. He also claims that she and the person who has been following Takamiya are not the same. 4 to 6 took over Tamao Kurabe AI's android body. Immediately after seizing control of the Tamao android, the track team manager finds him in the track room and mistakes him for Erika Aiba, who was interested in joining the track team and the reason why he started to use that name. Right before Aiba jumped off the Sumeru Bridge, she is asked the, que she is asked the question, Just what the hell were you doing to me? by Takamiya, to which she answers, getting you ready, ready for the game that will soon begin. You know, I'm actually starting to believe that 426 is doing some good. You know, he might not actually be some kind of villain after all. He's just trying to disrupt Chihiro Morimura's plans to activate the Aegis Protocol. And, uh, you know, sitting off the sectors. In 2188, she's Chihiro Morimura's mentor, as well as a leading authority on artificial intelligence. Despite the fact that she's 120 years old, she looks much younger than her true age thanks to nanomachine treatments. In order to become compatible, she tried to override her memories and personality into Fuyuzaka and take over her body, but gave up on it after hearing that the loop was no longer possible. Why isn't the loop possible anymore? I mean, as far as I understand, the loop is basically constructing another sector, another space colony or something. Maybe they are out of resources? Well, it actually is because so many main frames have been destroyed by the Daimos already. Right? 
Shoot terror. Good straight cat. Analyzing. Oh, we got some achievement for that, okay. The kids take out that Tsukasa Okino takes care of at Sakura High. He started living on campus when Okino happened upon him and began to feed him. He's on quite a few fans of the school. It looks like Fluffy, but they are two different cats. Ah. BJ, a small mysterious robot, 60 cm tall, that Natsune Minami finds, he crests Minami's cooperation in finding the memory cell. One of the robotic drones manufactured by Shikishima Industries. They were manufactured for surveying undeveloped lands and repairing machinery. He's the Miura that escaped into a drone before Sentinel number 17 was shifted from the Kaiju in 2064. He's also a friend of Ai Sigikahara. Oh yeah, Tetsuya Ida. Substitute teacher assigned to Ryoko Shinomono's class at Sakura High School. He's actually a member of an unofficial organization who forces Shinomono into battle. Ida is the director of the Special Investigations Unit. Oh, we know that. He serves as an advisor to an anti-Kaiju defense team and helps Momura gather members for their team. Back when he was a student, he supported Tomi Kisaragi on her singing live streams under the screen name F8. He used to wear glasses and came off as studious, serious young man, but he tried to act cool in high, in high school to catch Kisaragi's attention. He was in love with the deceased Kisaragi, so in order to revive her, he developed androids at Shikishima Industries in 2100. He transplanted the past Kisaragi and Tamayo Kurabi's AI into androids. It was believed that Ida died when he stayed behind during the 2064 Kaiju invasion. However, he was actually still alive and took Shinomone into custody when she was being interrogated in 1984. Ida seeks to transplant the simulated personality of the revived Kisaragi android into the physical body of the current Kisaragi, but she rejects the idea. He then realizes that he should have transplanted Kisaragi into the living body of the current Kisaragi to begin with, instead reviving her as an android first. For that reason, he aims to reset the world and begin anew. Ah. Haitsu Onishi Haitsu Onishi is a plain police officer who is part of the Kamazumi Police Force Juvenile Division. Although he cracks down hard on youth misconduct, Students affectionately call him Onishi the Ogre, knowing he generally does care about their well-being. Even when he's off-duty, he can often be found on the streets, looking after the students as much as he can. He and Takemi Wajima have crossed paths often. He's particularly concerned about Yuki Takamiya, as he's had to take into custody many times. He's aware of a family situation too. So he actually is a kind-hearted person. The professor's first name is Haizo. In 1945, he's about the development of a secret weapon for fighting against the Americans. He has a daughter named Kiriko Doji. He's the originator of Shikishima technology. Shikishima's technological, technological strides after the war were thanks to his groundwork. Still don't know who he is. Eita Takamiya is Yuki Takamiya's father, currently serving a sentence for assault and attempted murder. He's the only real family Takamiya has. Track members. Although the track team at Sakura High School isn't that skilled, the captain is popular for having experience competing in inter-high school events. She does a good job keeping the team together. The MIB. Members of a special investigations unit, experts in combat and gathering intel. Many of them are former self-defense experts or former police officers. They carry out dangerous missions in exchange for generous compensation. All about the money, man. Another policeman of the Kamazumi Police Station Community Affairs Division. Oh, the gate! Primary shift is underground while the gates on the surface are connected to it from afar. The gates are available for use because Murray Moore brought them online. Oh yeah, back in 2005, right? Kisaragi Android, after being destroyed in the girls' bathroom, 426 Juro Izumi hides the Android husk inside the broom cupboard of the old school building. Tamao Android. Tamao Android 426 gets cornered by Morimura, then jumps off the Samuri Bridge. Hey, I wonder what happens to that. The pills! Medicine that Miss Morimura administers to Ryoko Shinemone in the nurse's office, advising her to take it whenever she has severe headaches. Side effects include confusion and disruption of memory. Being large, they're tough pills to swallow. The pill bottle has the label All NM. C0204 printed on it. These pills inhibit the effects of DDE426, slowing down the resultant memory loss. 
They are composed of the same chemicals as the pills Aisei Gigaharu received from Tomiki Saragi Android in 2104 before he lost his memories. Drone's brain. Oh yeah. Drone part bearing the manufacturing stamp of Shikishima Robotics. Psi density silicon neuron circuits are shaped like a human brain. Why though? A device that Tsukasa Okino created to look inside a person's mind. Use it to search for the key hidden inside Ninji Ogata's memories. Okino uses it to check Takatoshi Hijiyama's brain. Bearing the headgear shows all your thoughts and feelings as numerical readouts. Nice. For losing his memories, Aisei Gahara uses this device to ext extract his memories and store them onto the nano machines inside his brain. Oh. <laughs> so, he does have his mom memories in his body, he just doesn't have access to them. <laughs> That's interesting. It's like, you know, carrying a key in your pocket and you need it, but you can't get it because you forgot it's there. Yoko Shinemono finds this by Yori Fuzaka, who was asleep in the nurse's office. It's labeled NM0206 in the nano machines that were administered to Fuzaka. Boyomura was implanting her own memories into Fuzaka, which is the cause of Fuzaka's troubling dreams. The interlocutor, the name of the nano machine technology used to override memories. Transplanting one's memories into another body is made possible by sending information directly to the brain's synapses. In March of 2188, Newman Incorporated, the industry leader of Interlocutor Tech at the time, and Shikishima joined forces to make leaps and bounds with this technology. Since then, there's been a rise of crimes in human trafficking and illegal cloning, thought to be attempts at reincarnating through technology. Who would have thought? Also called the decode for short, it is broadcasted by someone designated the commander, which gives a signal for the kaiju to attack. Fourth generation Sentinels. These are the latest models of the Sentinels, capable of flight thanks to the giant uh, tilt rotors. Four Sentinels of this generation are number 20, 21, 22, and 23. They were made for the purpose of supporting the other Sentinels. The pilot of each respective Sentinel during the final battle was Shu Amiguchi in number 20, Yuki Takamiya in number 21, Renya Goto in 22, and Migumi Yakushiji in number 23. Ultra rocket launchers, second generation Sentinel armament, fires off eight consecutive rockets from the shoulder mounted missile parts, doing extreme damage to the target. The missiles are 3.6 meters in length, 0.4 meters in diameter, and weigh about 300 kilograms. Holy crap. RPF, officially called Roving Production Facility, a giant roving factory kaiju that harvests matter around it as material and then rapidly produces kaiju within its internal production facilities. Since it continually produces small and medium sized kaiju, leaving it alone will result in the enemy's forces turning to overwhelming numbers. I mean, we took care of them quite quickly in the preceding battles, so, I know. Officially called Colossus Class Terrain Changer, a giant roving crane kaiju that can reach heights of over 100 meters. It comes equipped with a multitude of weapons and has thick armor. Its plasma cannon fires from the top center of its body. Taking a direct hit would melt even the thickest sentinel armor due to, its, due to its extreme heat levels. Yep, we took quite a damage fighting these guys, alright. Initially developed under the name Shikishima Industries 4 legged Autonomous Crane High Quad 150B Master Building and Heavenly Machine Rob oh, Machinery Robot. Who the hell could remember that name? I mean, <laughs> just try saying that four times fast. Shikishima Industries 4 legged Autonomous Crane. High Quad 150B Mass Development Heavy Machinery Robot. Yeah. Alright. Use all our mystery points. Let's get back into the swing of things here. Uh, yeah. Let's have a look at Katara. Ah. <sighs> So we need Renya, Natsuno, Chihiro. Chihiro連れ去ったのは、ゴーとレンヤ。玉尾さんに薬を譲っていた男の名だ。夏野さんの話では、ゴーとレンヤという男は 
この時代の学校にいて時間を行き来している BJ は80年先の未来人だと言っていた千尋を連れ去ったのはゴートレイヤーやつらが1985年にいるなら千尋を救い出さねば Considered enough. Okay. Lexio Motonista Jikawa Tashkani. Yonjunen no Zrengar. Nana Kokoa. Watashino Itajdaini. Tsunagatewa Inai. Osorak Korewa Jikan Ido de Wanai. He's got the right idea. Tato Ekihe o Motskaitem. どう戦うというのだ守るべき人もいないあの世界で裁縫の苦手だった母が千尋のために苦労して作ったウサギの人形だ歯切れを寄せ集めた粗末なものだが千尋は肌身離さず持ち歩いていたやつは学校か何としても見つけ出し Okay. Just gotta select that twice then, I guess. Mm, I don't know what we would do with the athletics building, to be honest. But I guess there's nothing else to do there, so. Ah, okay. Natsuno-san,夏野さんを探そうとしていたところです。私も三浦君心配してたのよ。三浦君あの後すごく落ち込んでたみたいだから大丈夫。ゴートレンヤを探しに来たのですが風邸も人相もわからないので夏野さんに特徴を教えてもらおうとゴート先輩だけどあれから学校には来てないのよ先生に聞いたんだけど住んでるところもわからなくて<笑>そうですかそれは困ったな Well, Miwako has it. Shire. Oku ni utsutte ru. Chōshin no hito yo. Kono megane o kaketa otoku ga Goto Renya. So da kedo. Arigato Miwako. She is actually so central to so many plot points. It's kind of interesting. I wonder what her involvement will be at the end.
Chihiro. Hontou wa Chihiro nan daro. Kotae te kure. Chihiro. And she got her memories back, didn't she? Let's give her the rabbit. これ。焼け跡で拾ったけど。私と見れてたんだ。大事なぬいぐるみだろ。君。お兄ちゃん。もう。なくすんじゃないぞ。ジュニア。記憶が消えたわけじゃないから、幼い妹としてのこの心地よい依存心も今の私の一部。否定は精神構造に様々な無理が生じる。千尋。どうしてしまったんだ。元の記憶を取り戻したの。私は森村千尋。森村。秘密にしたいとあなたが言ったのに、自分からバラしてしまったのですね。貴様。大胆な計画変更も、時には必要なものよ、ゴート君。君が現れるのは計算外だった。ゴートレンヤ。Awaken her. Sono Iyo was Shingaidana. Korega Kanojan of Motomoto no Sugatana. Sai Shokara Kimi no Imoto de Wanai. Damare Kisama no Hanasina to Kikukiwanai. Tamao san no Katagida. Yuru san no Nanika Gokai ga shoji de Iruna. ちゃんと一緒に行こう。どこに行く気？誰もいなくなった。1945年。どこに逃げても意味などないの。このループを止めるには全システムの掌握が最優先よ。あなたは頼りになる。ミュラ君はとても優秀な設計技師だった。何の話を。いつでも千尋の味方。そう言ったわね。我々に協力して。コート君準備はできています。そう。時間を無駄にしてすまなかったわ。急ぎましょう。千尋。Yet is pulling all the strings. Yoshitomoe. Doke. Shihiro wa watashi ga tsurete iku. Kanojo wa inochi o neraware te iru. Ima no kimi de wa mamore mai. No. Ni. Dare ni sonna. Oto six. Seki ga harai. Oh, hey. Yeah. It's also right. Kyo ryuk suru ki ni natta ra. Koi o kake te kure. And the, the game is really trying to defend its time traveling plot, but come on, the jig is up, isn't it? Tamao-san, Kenpei was gone. How was it? I was looking for Kiriko-san. Kiriko-chan is a spy. I thought he was 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 a spy. ケンペイに追われる男を撹まうなんて。あいつは当時キリコなんて名前じゃないし、この世界の人間でもない。
行かれた男だあいつは騎兵で何をしていたんだこの男は騎兵のことをやはりスパイだ奴が逃げるとすればゲートだ今行けば追いつけるかもしれない関ヶ原さん本当のことを教えて私は両親の娘ではなく未来から連れてこられたってどうしキリコが言ったのか嘘だと思えないの多分私毎晩その夢を見ている記憶をいじられたな<笑>こんなやつの話真に受けてはダメです玉尾さん憲兵に引き渡しましょう慶太郎さんお願いはっきりさせたいの慶太郎三浦慶太郎か貴様なぜ私の名をそうかお前が何だと言うんだお前と一緒に戦っていた貴様など顔も知らん今のお前じゃない未来から来た三浦だ未来彼は肉体を失い意識だけの存在だ今は探査ユニットに収められてるでは慶太郎さんも君と同じだよ<笑>よた話はもう十分だ詰所に突き出してやる動く関ヶ原さん貴様お前の言う通り俺は行かれてる頭にすっかり毒が回ってな My little sister. Ah. He's locked too now. So we have Shu. We have Shu. <laughs> okay. Let's go with Shu then. I guess we will just have to do a lot of battling after all of this. これと比べてそらく冬坂も見てる夢は過去の出来事で実はここが隔離されてるってアイドルの稲葉美雪がテレビからそれを教えてくれたこんなの誰に相談すりゃいいんだ下手すりゃ頭の病院行きだぞ Surely would ゆきちゃんはいないそういや補修で忙しいって言ってたな<笑> Okay, we can't go anywhere as it seems Let's check the classrooms ああキサラギトミはいないかまあ顔を合わせるのはなんか気まずいしいなくてよかったのかもな黒部君おみぐちくんやあ帰りかいちょうどよかった例のビデオなんだけどさごめん今ちょっと急いでてあ,あそうなんだあんいやなんでもないじゃあ黒部君様子が少し変だったな彼も何か気づいたのかもな。I want you to follow him。外の空気でも吸ってみるか
ビデオに撮ってテレビ局に投稿してみるとかぼーっとしてどうした鬼打ちちょっと待ってなお前こそなんか疲れた顔だぜなんか悩んでんのかあーまあな俺よこの前何日か学校ばっくれてただろそうだっけ実はあの時遭難してたんだ未来でなあ随分深いサボりの表現だなそうなるよな<笑>でお前のはあああ実はな夜な夜な俺の部屋にアイドルの稲葉美由紀が現れて<笑>困ってる真面目に聞いて損したぜそうなるよな<笑> yeah. The truth can be stupid sometimes. Oh, it's this day, huh? Shooty bang bang. じゃあいつの前で何度も告白されたからなあもしかしてそういう話なら悪いけど俺今は好きな子いるんだそんな話しに来たんじゃないそうなんだごめんじゃあ何の用謝らなくても大丈夫ちょっと痛い思いさせるしな Oh, continues. Yae Machi no Atari des Sakura Koko ga chikai na Machigai nai yo Kihei da Gak Shou Chou to Beigun ni mo Renlak o tore Scramble wa saser na Shou wa no Heiki de wa Kihei no aite ni nara nai Dare ga nott te iru no ka mo Sono mokteki mo ima wa fumei da Shino no meiryouko o tsure modo shite oke Joushou shite iru Nan no tsumori da Ano kihei wa Okino ga saigo ni sekkei shita Hikou gata no keiryou ki Seisan shi na katta hazu na no ni Dare ga
Is that Yuki? ちゃんのシリアイ。<笑> ユキちゃんの知り合い。彼女は組織の一員だ。え？ロボット登場者。つまり君を監視する任務だ。高宮は桜高校に潜入していた。まさか。嘘だろ。網口。その。協力しろ。網口周。高宮のためにも。Ignition. Alright. What is he locked behind now? Yeah. <laughs> Thought as much. Alright, we could unlock Juro. <laughs> That's the only character we could play as. Before we'd have to do a lot of battles, I suppose. But you know what? Why don't we go ahead and actually do a battle. Yeah, just one. And then we can play as Kuro until we unlock the other guys again. Because once you clear wave 5, I think we will unlock a lot more characters again. First, let's do a little save here. And then, let's go for Shibugaki CD Battle 4, wave 4. Ogata on the strike team. You can do that. Maintain a terminal defense rate of 70% or higher. Many modified G Molar Kaiju will appear. Alright, so we need Ogata. Hey there, Anakin! How are you doing, my friend? Ah, we are about to do another battle here. And I think. I'll actually take these two for now. Let's bring Yuri along. I'm doing quite fine. I mean, I'm starting to, you know, get not enough sleep, I want to say, because <laughs> I play this game way too much. But I just can't stop. 
That must be good when I go to your stream. Oh, that's nice of you, dude. I like to hear that. Uh, let's bring her along as well. I just cannot stop playing this game, you know? It's, I don't know, it's really addicting. Uh, I kind of want to get that. Uh, you know, I could actually go ahead and grab that. That sounds kind of useful, actually. <sighs> Let's look at our setup here first. I actually think that getting these things now would actually be better for us in the long run. So he's got that. Maybe give it to her as well, because I do like my second generation sentinels. But I also like my fourth generation sentinels. She already has that, so let's maybe give it to her. I think he needs it more, actually. And then... Uh, have damage and power boost. Sure, let's grab these. Why the hell not? Is there anything else we should upgrade? Uh, bloody wise. I mean, that wait time reduction is pretty juicy. Gonna lie there. Power plus five. I mean, I save quite often. Yeah, that's definitely worth it. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty much out of points anyway now. So, many G molars. I'm liking my team here, so uh, yeah. Let's deploy. Go. I mean, it, I think it's a little bit sad that the victory conditions or loose conditions actually don't change much because I really like to see them mix that up from time to time, I believe. Oh, that's fine, I guess. Alright, let's deploy our defenses. <clears throat> Get all that up and working. 
Start to slowly move into your position, I guess. Okay. So, what do we have here? Well, a few molars, but nothing serious, I want to say. So, let's. Go and soften them up, I guess, a little bit. Or just destroy all of them outright. That also works for me, I guess. Ah. Okay. Don't know if I really want to leap into that, though. So let's move a little bit closer. It's blocking me here. Oh, it's probably that other G-Molar, huh? Okay. What if we go around like this, though? I can't exactly hit what I want to hit. And now they are all dead anyway, so... Alright, scratch that. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 you do need to take an action, dude. So you can just go ahead and waste these guys. Ah, there they are. Okay, now what do we can do here? We can actually wait until they landed and then use the EMP. Or... Drop this. Actually, well, some of them survived that. What? Okay, then. Oh, yeah, there are some targets for him. Actually, wait. Yeah, let's drop that. And then we move into the high quad. Because they know they can dish out quite a lot of damage. But so can we. <laughs> Alright, I guess that was unnecessary then. Jeez, I didn't know you could instantly kill them. Wow. Shit. Didn't know that he got this powerful already. I mean, he does have that Demolisher Blade upgrade. I mean, not only is he godly fast, but he just wrecks stuff. Damn, Ogata's powerful as shit. Uh, I don't know what's going on over there, but they're all dead, so that works for me. It got more high quads, got a lot more G molars. You have enough to drop that again. Yeah, our interceptors need to 
take care of other stuff. Don't worry about that over there. Hell yeah. Okay, can wreck these guys. If you could get in range, that is. Yeah, there are quite a few coming in from over there now. Don't know if that will be enough to stop them though. So, you know what? I think it's time to use this. Oh, that's a really small range there. Yep, let's use that. I don't want them getting closer to me. And I can just place another sentry gun. Buys me some time. Ah, now they moved away. Damn it. Just drag that thing then. Oh, it's probably because of the EMP that they got separated. Doesn't matter too much though. Got it, got it. Everything under control. Right, I guess it's only these that are left over there. So maybe let's actually have Juro get into range and, you know, plasma cutter up that high quad. Let's back up. Or we just do it that way, you know? Also works for me. We took 38 points of damage. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Super Missile is a good ability. Definitely. I can fight too. Gather Lost. Brawling Prodigy. City actually took quite a bit of damage. So enough for an S rank though. Nearly 10%. My god. Might have been because of the EMP. Alright. Got the 
bonus objectives as well. Yeah, we are starting to get quite a bit of mystery points here now. Surely do. Alright, so uh, let's actually have a look at these then. I mean, there are still a lot that we haven't unlocked. I think I will just go top to bottom at this point because we're getting so many mystery points. Professor Doji suspects that Tsukasa Okino, who gave refuge to Aise Gahara, is a spy that stole intel. He tries to get the military to capture him. Wait. Hmm. Takemi Wajima. Takemi Wajima is a student in 1985. He's one of the top dogs in the gang at Nigakui Industrial School, Kui High for short. Also known as Tak of Kui High. He's rough around the edges and has a foul mouth to match. Seems like a tough guy, but is usually the one getting beaten up. <laughs> That's right. He's fallen for Yurifu Zaka and doggedly seeks a relationship with her. Ugh, creep. Time travel. Travel into a past or future world by leaping across the flow of time. You can travel to five eras. 1945, 1985, 2025, 2065, and 2105. Yeah, also known as Sector 54321. With Sector 0 being the main firm, I suppose. So they're all locations. There's no time travel. Stop telling me that game. The control key is a program code within one of the 15 individuals. Until the world gets destroyed, the one with the key unknowingly broadcasts command signals from their body that create and beckon the kaiju. Initially, Nenji Ogata had the control key, but it, were, but it went to Natsuno Minami after. Two other 15 individuals. I mean, we know the 13, you know, the pilots of our sentinels. I guess Okina is one of them? The true is the last. Fourth generation sentinels. The final battle is the first time they are put to use. Ah. G Molar. Officially called Giant Molar. 35 meter tall. A massive kaiju with both incredible weight and power. This kaiju specializes in close quarter combat. Its thick armor makes it hard to take down with range attacks like missiles and rapid fire guns. That's good to know. Oh. This. D Series D800, large surface excavation unit deployed by Shikishima Industries. It was built for the third phase of the terraforming project for the purpose of surface construction and modification. Built to withstand the extreme conditions of increased pressure and gravity, it has an outer hull composed of specially treated metal with an increased melting point. It possesses three articulated legs that allow for autonomous mobilization to any excavation site. After a farm for up to 180 days of continuous operation, so that just tells us they are definitely not going to run out of battery juice while we are fighting. Sakura High School. A high school located in the center of Ashitaba City. Each grade consists of five classes ranging from A to E. There's a total of 512 students at the school. It's a comprehensive junior and senior high school and the policy requires all students to wear uniforms. Front gate. Gate used by everyone affiliated with Sakura High School. If you face the campus, on the left side is the baseball field and behind it is the athletics building. On the right, on the right is the new school building and behind that is the old school building. Also, we finally have some directions to follow. Okay. New school building. Four-storied ferro concrete school building that was completed in the spring of 1985. The shiny Lino linoleum of the hallway reflects a lot of sunlight, bringing about a much brighter atmosphere compared to the old school building. Most students are happy that they no longer have to deal with the creaking floors, but there are some students who miss the wooden smell of the old building. Cafeteria. The dining area on the first floor of Sakura High School's South Building. There is a school store that sells bread and bento for cheaper than market price. The most popular item is their yokisa yokisaba yakisoba pan. What the hell am I, what's I reading there? Second place is the mayonnaise chicken bento, and third is their sandwich. Research on 1984. <laughs> Nurse's office. A school facility where students receive consultation, guidance, and treatment for injuries and illnesses. There are three male students who show up here every day just to see the school nurse, Mrs. Morimura. I wouldn't know why. Science room. School facility where students run chemistry experience. Due to rumors that point 
to paranormal phenomena, like someone hearing voices from the science room when no one was inside, or someone from the field outside seeing a creepy white flash of light from inside the dark room, it is considered one of the seven wonders of the school. <laughs> there is a gate inside the science room, which allows one to travel to another era. Since the students who witnessed the gate being used caused a stir, Morimura and the others judged the rumor about it being a paranormal phenomenon that students would stop going to the room so often. Hmm. New school building rooftop. A city of area where delinquents often gather. Shu Amiko Ishii recently pried upon the log, so any kind of exit is as they please. <laughs> You'll often find a handkerchief left out to dry up here. Looks like it belongs to a female student. It doesn't. That's Nenji. Okay. Guess he's the only one we can actually play as, so... Yep, everybody else is locked. Juro it is. But I guess he gets locked after this as well, so... Duh. Alright. Go out the hallway. Yo, Juro. Go I grab my bag. なんだよ。Yeah, no. So we gotta talk to him more? Yare, yare. Kyoko Sosa, Genko. いずみ重郎。年齢はお前より<笑> やっぱり。騒がれると少々面倒だ。うまく記憶を消せるかどうか。沢谷さん。いつもどこに行ってるの?どうして?尾形君が探してた。本当?レンジ君。教えてくれる時坂神社で待ち合わせてるらしいんだけど時坂神社お化けが出るって噂のあの神社あのあの神社僕も前に何かあったぞダメだ思い出せない yeah. Yeah. Do not talk to Shiva. Talk to Mizako. Iwako. Oh, hey. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we do have that. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so we got a little bit of 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 
Why can't I grab my stupid bag? Oh, I have to talk to him about two more things then? Because I guess we do have to have that conversation every time. Yeah, now I can grab the bag. Alright. So we can go here then. Actually, I do. Uh, dude, I know where. This is getting annoying. <laughs> I mean, if only we could leave the classroom before anything happens. That would be sweet. Guess we just gotta be fast then. Oh, you know, if we could just grab this goddamn bag and leave. Nope, oh, gotta talk to him again. Every freaking time. Gotta start the timer. Oh, 
前も使えねえのか<笑>夢に出てきた大きな司と言っていたどこかで彼を見たことがあるような僕と冬坂さんだけが16年前のすみれ橋に逃れたんだこれも芝君の別の泉十郎の記憶か僕が学生たちを殺して回ってた殺した人の中に冬坂さんや薬師寺がこれが記憶なら本当にあんなことを過去に遡って滅亡の原因と思われる研究施設を爆破し研究員を撃ち殺したんだ冬坂さんに似た人が仲間だったえ That didn't do anything. Ah, <laughs> just had to move. Nandatake Soda Gomiokibani Nanika Hakonda. Gomiokibani. バカを言うなおこいつはおい手を貸せナンドロイドインエプエシエスこりゃロボットだぜタナオさんだなぜタナオさんの姿をしてるんだタナオクラベタナオクラベタマオってばあちゃんいや違うこれははい、そりゃそりゃそりゃそりゃそりゃそりゃそりゃそりゃそりあの映画が手に入ったんだ急いで帰ってみるぞこんなことになって残念だ地下から出すべきではなかったやはりお前が助けなければよかったよ脱出の妨げになるものは排除する必要があるうまくやってるつもりだろうか三浦にはバレてるぞそうかな彼が学校で記憶を消したのはお前から記憶を隠すためだ悪あがきだ。あのなんだこれ人間じゃないじゃあさっきの話し声は。Oh, that is actually the beginning of his story.
ってんだジグロあれえ、that's how it all started。君は誰？なんだよ。俺はお前の親友だろ。忘れちゃう。困るな。あ,あ、そうか。そうだった。警察に連絡しなきゃ襲われたんだ襲われたおいおい何の話だよあれこんな人形に襲われたってのかお前これどっから持ってきたんだこんな道端に転がしといて車が事故でも起こしたらこっぴどく怒られるだろうそそうだねそこのゴミ箱にでも突っ込んどこうぜ。あれ？なんか。How could you even carry that? ポケットすんな。片付けるのを手伝ってやるから。ちゃんと抱えろ。あ、うん。Intrusion. Yep. Well, cannot play with anybody until we've done the next battle, so. <laughs> I guess you know what to do, right? Shibugaki City Battle 5, Wave 5. Got another boss in our hands. Sentinel Gladiator Kaiju. So we actually do fight Sentinels now. Oh crap. Ah, so we need Goto on our team. So let's do just that. Her on the strike team just because he isn't. We can actually bring her along. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's get that. This isn't very expensive. That too. And the wait time reduction is actually pretty nice. Oh, and then you actually do get another one. Holy crap, yeah. So I guess it changes. Sometimes you get the weight reduction, sometimes you get the number of least increase. Oh yeah, definitely want you to have that. You know, we can only have four on our team, so I guess I do want Ogata again, because he is pretty lethal. Just drops the EP required. Doesn't sound so useful to me.
Who else am I going to bring? I would actually like Kisaragi. She's out. Can't bring both of these. I think I'm gonna just bring Amiguchi. Because I need more interceptors. Speaking of which... Oh, I didn't get that with her yet. Oh, I did. What am I talking about? Guess let's grab the shield repair for him. Okay, anything else that I want to upgrade? Probably this. Just talking about EMPs, so I guess I should upgrade that. Can any of you actually bring any EMPs? Or is it only the generation ones? enough to get one more neural link. I think I'll give it to her. Because as previously stated, I do like my second generation sentinels. Okay. Maximum four strike team members. Got that. Goto on the strike team. Got that as well. Clear without a sentinel being immobilized.
An enemy sentinel gladiator nullifies all attacks that inflict damage of 300 or lower. Deliver attacks that deal high damage with each blow. Win this battle, you must destroy seven gladiators. I might have brought the wrong team for this battle. Oh, the sentry guns deal enough damage. Can even jump on top of me. What? So it really is like fighting another sentinel. God. This is going to be intense. Yeah, all of these things deal very little damage, but often. I got the sentry cannons. And I got the EMP. Gotta remember the EMP. Gotta remember the EMP. Probably won't damage them. Pull it now. I know it does damage them. Okay, so it doesn't have to be in one hit, it just has to be in one attack. Okay, that makes things a lot more manageable. Okay, okay, okay. Good. Okay, no, I'm not as scared anymore. <laughs> Okay, this is way more manageable now. <laughs> oh, Gata wrecks them. Good thing I brought him. Yeah, I was really terrified of the implications there. For a second.
plasma again. Go to town on all of them. You can all you can shred buffet. Okay, the city is holding up, terminal is holding up, we are holding up. To do, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. Probably do that. Then use another EMP. Gotta wait for Ogata to get a turn again. Then everything will be fine. Okay, where are these sentinels? There's one. actually managed to destroy all of them, didn't I? Just in case. I'm here for now. Ah. That was it. Does that mean we can make our generation one sentinel strong enough? Come on, come on! Easily bored. Well, sorry, Shu. Thousand hits, huh? I'll we'll take it. All right, getting all these ass rags. Thank 
you. Automated factory. A whole lot of mystery points again. Ah, uh, not yet. Q. Okay, cool. That means we should have unlocked a few of our characters again. But we can also unlock a few more mystery files. Before we deal with that, though, I will take a another quick break here. Uh, get some more to drink. And uh, I will see you guys in just a minute. So hang tight. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back soon. Jesus, <laughs> I forgot to turn on the microphone again. All right. <clears throat> 426. When the Tamawa android was being used as 426's body, Isaac Igao discovered his true identity and destroyed it. Soon after, Juri Kurabe happens to pass by the destroyed remains, and 426 transfers to his nanomachines. And that is why he is still alive. Tamawa android. I see Gigaha destroys the Tamawa android after finding out that 246 had taken over her body. Soon after, 426 manages to transfer himself to Juru Kurabe's nanomachines and becomes Kyuta Shiba. The Tamawa android, on an empty shell, is disposed of at the nearby dumpster. <clears throat> automated factory, part of a fully automated global scale manufacturing network. Without requiring any human input, everything from planning, production, and shipment is automated by computers. Once it was deemed more efficient to synchronize the production of various factories worldwide, the system reached peak popularity in 2080, comprising of 1.2 billion factories by 2142. Kolkata and Chennai in India have the world's largest plants. Gladiator. 
first generation sentinels from 2064 that were taken during the kaiju invasion. They became deadly additions to the kaiju forces, or so it was thought. In actuality, to combat the sentinels gaining power, these were newly developed kaiju based on the construction data of the first generation sentinels. Their destructive powers is still intact, and they even come equipped with composite ceramic armor. Gosh, sorry guys. Despite being prototypes, these enemies come with the durability to withstand low power attacks. Uh, I just can't wait uh, when we will face the other generations as well. You know, like the second, third, and fourth. Oh no, do they get sentry guns on their own? Uh. <clears throat> a passageway that connects the new school building to the old school building. It was originally supposed to be a hallway for connecting the old school building to a lecture hall. Instead, the new school building site houses the science room and the science preparation room. There used to be a potato field beside it, but it's no longer there in 1985. The wood school building that was built over 40 years ago, the floorboards creak and the doors are hard to open. The building is only lit by miniature naked light bulbs, which, so which show the passage of time. Eh. The wooden school building that was built in 1944 used to be called Sakura National School back then. There were no students during the first year the school opened, as all students were enlisted or had entered the labor force. National schools were started in 1941, and many of the current schools were converted into them. Influenced by national nationalism and fascism, national schools taught children the basic training necessary for citizens of the country. They aimed to train their body and mind, and asked them to give their lives for the nation and for the emperor. Many schools trained children in military tactics as well as group training and rituals. By 1947, these schools were reformed under a new system, turning their focus back to education. It was originally two stories, but they added a vest building in 1985 that's three stories high. The Athletics Building for Sakura High School's Athletic Clubs. About half of the students participate in some form of athletic club. The clubs with the highest member count are baseball for the boys and volleyball for the girls. <coughs> park. Ayame Park is located at the top of a small hill. It used to be called Ayame Pass back when the munitions factory was still there. Zumira Bridge. The name of the 193 meter long bridge that's built above Kaeda River. There's a long history, built back in 19... In 1673, by the feudal lord of the Satsuki clan. It was originally five linked arched bridges built on top of layered stone piers. UFO! Our giant infrastructural control system constructed with 2188 technology called Universal Control. Alright, getting some info on that finally. Oh, Universal Control, there we go. Universal Control is the underground mainframe. The town residents are controlled by Universal Control, which sometimes adjusts the residents' memories or situations and twists the truth in order to eliminate any possible co inconsistencies in the world. A giant disc-shaped structure with a diameter of 30 kilometers, we are meters below Ashitaba City. The center device of the terminal is used to authenticate biometric IDs required when shifting to other sectors or accessing personal logs. Yep, there is no time trouble. 2064 Kaiju Invasion, the defensive battle that took place towards the center area of Ashitaba City in 2064. Shiro Kurabe, Izumi, Ryoko Shinamone and A. Sikigahara were among the Sentinel pilot force during this battle. Sentinel number 15, piloted by Sikigahara, shut down the systems of all the Sentinels, causing the front line to collapse. Orimura prioritized the lives of the pilots and force transmitted all sentinels. Tetsuya Ida stayed behind and fought using a remotely controlled sentinel. A nightmare. The dream drew Kurabe sees of him killing everyone. Seeing this dream makes Kurabe anxious that he might end up killing Megumi Yakushiji, so he starts to avoid her. In his dream, the man called Juru Izumi, who resembles Kurabe, claims that the nanomachines in their bodies are what's calling the Daimos here. Towards the end of the dream, Izumi gets shot by a woman who looks just like Yori Fuyusaka. Bankara. When Keitaro Miura says his friend Takatoshi Hi Hijiyama was once a mess, he was referring to this particular look and attitude. In the latter half of the Meiji era, Western culture was considered more acceptable as Haikara, the cultural adoption of Western fashions, became popular. The term Haikara was made popular by Meiji era journalists derived from the English high collar. 
To counter this movement, Bankara was born out of a desire for goodness within, something not determined by outward appearances. Bankara came from the twisting of Haikara, and being Bankara meant holding onto a crude outer appearance while seeking spiritual nobility, integrity, and greatness on the inside. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's all of our mystery points spent. We're actually, you know, getting quite good on unsealing these. So yeah, now that we have cleared wave 5, <laughs> we should actually be good on uh, unlocking a few characters again. Yeah, there goes one. Natsune. Ninji. Okay, it was two. <laughs> so yeah, let's continue on with Natsune, I guess. She's the most behind. Also, I will just quickly turn off the camera while I eat a little sandwich here because I'm kind of hungry. So don't mind me if I if you don't see me at the moment. Yes. I'm still here. Oh, that was a wrong one. ビジェが言ってたあれ。私たちは宇宙人で、ここが別の星って私やっぱり信じられないよ。ロボット。ロボット。ビジェはどういうロボットなの？ Atetanda. Sagasteru Kihenua. Arega in Morano, eh? Nisenhak Hatju Hatinen of Kiroko Okay, that should do it. <clears throat> Let's see what we found this time. <笑>それが乗っ引きならない用事なんですよ。いつねはふらふらするのがいるし、素質は荒らされるし、頭が痛いわ。の、野良猫の仕業じゃないですか。夜の間に物質の鍵が壊されてたの。まさか、MIBが
Okay, so this is probably the story path where Natsuno will get stranded in the future. No. Future. I think Sector 3 is new. <clears throat> what? ん。2006年。8番があったけど。17番は結局なかったわね。セクター1。17番。セクター1。もう一度探してみるの I think this is actually the first time that we go to that sector ourselves, isn't it? So far we've only ever heard stories about that. Oh no, we've been here. <laughs> Don't mind me then. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
忘れたのですか世界が滅んだ瞬間から二度遡ってそうか転送範囲は居住区だけじゃないセクターゼロへの転送でそれも可能かともかく今は時間がないこの情報はどこから引き出したの地下にある円盤のコンピューターですが<笑>円盤ねそんな風に呼ばれてるのねそこへ行ける<笑>行けます行けるようにしたのはあなただ本当に忘れてしまったのですか子供の頭脳だもの<笑>記憶違いはあるわ<笑>そう思わないさあ早く So she is still affected by that, huh? Interesting. Imano, Shihiro chan do you know? So any go to Senpai mo BJ mo mita de show? So ya BJ go to me tenaka to be dust at a kiddo. ここで見たあの人もゴート先輩だ先輩も過去や未来に行き来できる<笑>幼稚園の服だったけど三浦くんの妹千尋ちゃんだよねでも嫌がってる風でもなかったしなんか雰囲気違ってた、oh, back. 先輩は先生に話す時みたいな口調だったし That's because she is, in a way. Ne, BJ. That's a bit. Still quite fast, though, isn't it? Something to do with the note that A has? There's always memories back now, huh? That's 
space. It's on another colony. This is quite uplifting for once. <coughs> Alright, you can play as A also. Okay, cool. Uh, guys, you just gotta give me one moment here. The dogs have been kinda acting up. I guess I just have to let them out into the garden for one minute. So don't go anywhere. I'll be back in just a second here. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry for the interruption, guys. Appreciate you sticking around, of course. So. Um. Or we can play as Kato as well. But what about. We just stick with Natsunu for now. Huh? <clears throat> that should be good. So she wasn't. Oh, what happened to her cheek? Probably the one who broke into the locker room earlier. もう疑われ始めてる。急いで騎兵を見つけなきゃ。円盤にあるのよね。円盤って言ったって、どうせ日本製なんでしょ？そう、呼ばれる限り知ってるな。はあ、やっぱりそうだよね。で、どこにある
and then, you know, going over to the gate. That is kind of just customary at this point. So what is up with her cheek? Has she been shot by Megumi in the meantime? There's nobody here. That's suspicious. <coughs> so, Sector Zero. にも崩れそう。2025年もやられたんだ。あ、何か落ちてる。うちの学校の生徒手帳。ミオカ。2年英組。篠の目良子。顔写真。物質で見たあの人だ。なんでここに<笑> I mean, that's actually not really true, is it? I mean, it's below. Everywhere. Below us. タイムトラベルを来ると思って先回りしたのよ。ここは それを持ち帰るのが任務。データユニットを渡してもらうわ。And that is why she is trying to Oh, 
もしかして。あ、いないか。あ、sorry about that. I think I'm actually trying catching a cold. Yeah, I figured that much. BJ! What's in my name? Korewa. Moshka Shinoktemo. Matsui Joko Nanodewa. Yep. Quite a night. Nope. Oh, this world. Yeah, we are starting to close in on the truth here. Or should I say on the end. So you know what? This could actually be Nenji's last story path. So let's see it. さあ、言う通りなんだけどさ。よく考えた方がいいんだろうけど。俺は。キサラギに危ねえ真似させたくねえんだ。な、何を急に真顔で。あそこへ戻るなら俺も行く。ちょっとやぼようだ。ここで待
限界だろう。俺が行く。あんただって今降りたばっかでしょ。惚れた女を守るのに限界なんざ関係ねえんだよ。<笑>Final battle. Yep. Cleared him, all right. All right, cool. Two characters cleared. I'm not going to figure it out myself. So, yeah. Why don't we go ahead and have another battle on ourselves? Because, you know, we do have to make our way over to. Ah! Uh, wave. Battle 10, Wave 10, anyway, to unlock more of the characters. So, Shibugaki City, Battle 6, Wave 6. Here we come. Ichiyama Miura. Yama and me are clear within 50 seconds. That's not a lot of time. We only have all of these things too. Hmm. Yeah, let's not get that just yet. Alright. <clears throat> Who do we need? Many modified drum mine kaiju. So we need something to deal with drum mines. Something to deal with drum mines. So, uh, actually, I think I want to have that on all of my generation four Sentinel pilots. Actually, what are all these abilities that we unlocked here? Next back power increases proportional to distance moved. Hmm. Increases arm and power significantly against recently appeared kaiju. Increases arm and power of arm and was not previously loosed. Bash attack power increases whenever the attack hits kaiju. Oh. Increases back attack range. Attack and weight recovery speed increases when no allies are nearby. Increase armor and power when used right after an alley attacks. Ah. Oh, Attack and increase temporarily proportional to distance moved. Hmm. Increase armor and power when attacking from behind, a, from beyond a certain distance. Uh, I don't know, man. Um, anyway. Interceptors. Then again, do I have that on all of you yet? Yes, I do. Ijiyama <sighs> Miura. If we have Miura, we should probably take Natsune as well.
So yeah, let's see about this. I probably should unlock Missile Rain one of these days for her. That sounds like it would be good against, uh, you know, these molars that are going to appear. Oh yeah, why haven't I... Oh, I didn't unlock that yet. Why am I dumb or something? I totally need that. So yeah, let's equip her with that. That. Enter air bombardment wasn't as good as I thought it would be. We'll never use stun knuckles. <sighs> Kinda want this though. But not having that. Doing the plasma cut more. I mean, with her, I think I would just really want to dump it into the sentry guns. Because of her hyper condenser. Make them as powerful as I possibly can. What about you, though? I do have a shoe with me, right? That only holds six seconds, though. Let's at least unlock it. Actually, put a few points into leap attack as well. unlock all of these. Okay. You know, this actually might not be too bad, because I can pull the mines to wherever I want them to be. Okay, Hijiyama is on the team, Miura is on the team. Clear within 50 seconds. There are a lot of drum mines. So I think I'm ready. Go.
Yeah, I think so. more into the fray. You're just gotta be a little bit careful about these incoming drum mine kaiju. Okay, yeah, just move around, drop the EMPs on them, and let everything else deal with them, I guess. Then again, we could just clear them out. They are immobilized. They aren't there. To attack. Nope, got destroyed. Got that actually? No, there's at least one more coming in.
You all cool down. Oh, look what's come in. Do a bit of damage. They're getting ripped to shreds. Let them get to Hijiyama. Oh, I think that was the last of them. Oh, yeah. Did I actually clear it in 50 seconds? Kinda wasn't paying attention. Oh shit, it did so much damage. Holy crap. Actually, I just think it doesn't count the damage for the interceptors and the sentry guns to the pilot. Paired for death. Leadership. No damage at all. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. This is good. This is good. Alright, cleared. Tamao's Ohagi. Yeah, we are getting way more mystery points now that we have that multiplier. Okay, let's take a look at our. Three points. Actually, is there a way? Yeah, this is way faster. <laughs> Minami shifts to 2025 to get to the UFO, but is attacked by Yoko Shinamone there and gets left behind in the ruins, unable to find a way home. When the Kaiju appear in 1985, Ogata swears to protect Tomiki Zaragi this time and activates Sentinel number 10. 
BJ isn't his name, but it's actually the coordinates BJ011005 that BJ was looking for in order to find the memory cell. The word BJ kept repeating when he met Minami for the first time. Thanks to Minami's good memory, he was able to easily recall it. Having to do with the track and repeatedly getting trashed and it's only Minami skipping training, the manager is wrecking her brain. The track member with the pigtails is close to Minami, as they are in the same grade. The jury Izumi of two loops ago discovered that it's possible to alter the automated factory's processes, which led to the birth of the Sentinels. Ah. So that is how they were built, huh? Looks like Juro, or the Izumi Juro, isn't such a bad dude after all. Drummine, officially called Blasting Excavator. Kaiju with the boiler like a giant wheel. Once a target is acquired, it uses its rocket engine to spin its wheels and close in on a target at high speed. Afterward, it uses a large amount of RDX felt explosive inside itself to self destruct. I mean, you know, that's a lot of material that it just that is just used to for nothing, basically. I mean you build all of that, just to have it explode. I don't know, it's kinda funny to me. Surface shows no sign of life due to the kaiju attacks and toxic levels of radiation from the government's use of nuclear bombs. Could they really though? Like, would they really be able to build nuclear bombs in one of these colony shelters? Like where would they even get the plutonium or uranium or whatever from? Like, you know? Ah, that sounds kind of fishy to me. Tamao Zohagi. Though they're lacking a bit of sugar, these Zohagi that Tamao Kurabe made for Keitaro Miura and Takatoshi Hijiyama are still soft, moist, and filled with red bean paste. They were given five of each flavor. Strained red bean, coarse red bean, and roasty, roasted uh, soy flour. Could go for some myself. The Three Laws. Three Laws, written by a famous author, well known for a science fiction piece from the 20th century, 2001 A Space Odyssey. <laughs> when a distinguished but elderly scientist states that something is possible, he's almost certainly right. When he states that something is impossible, he's very probably wrong. <laughs> the only way of discovering the limits of the possible is to venture a little way past them into the impossible. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Sure. I mean, you know, if you if you were actually able to go back in time, just show somebody from the Middle Ages a smartphone, like, <laughs> what the hell? Hot dogs. The hot dog, a popular dish that consists of a piping hot sausage, sausage placed in the middle of a slightly sweet bun, topped with a sharp scent of mustard and bold chili sauce. Hiyori Fuizaka, Tomi Kisaragi and Biwako Sabatari enjoyed this on their way home from school. Nikoman, a soft steamy bun loaded with juicy meat. Yori Fuizaka, Tom Kisaragi and Biwako Sabatari enjoyed this on their way home from school. It tastes even better if you add a bit of mustard. Or you could also use it as, uh, you know, fake boobs. Mm. To have an uh, instant morimura. <laughs> and soda. Valkyrie is a canned soda that Nenji Ogata found for Tomiki Saragi in 2055-2025 ruins. No matter how tired you are, one sip of this energy drink will recharge you instantly. Alright then. Sorry! Oh yeah, you're locked. <laughs> Actually, we could unlock Keita, right? Anybody else? Yuki? Oh, and A. I think let's go with Yuki because I do believe that's going to be her last story half as well. So we would have finished yet another character. Well, she's dead, kinda. 
もなっちゃんだ関ヶ原に進展がないか確認しよう He's in the old school building, right? あの廃墟の町近い将来この町も襲われてあんな風になっちまうだと Basically. 簡単には信じられない That's quick. Don't even have to go anywhere, I can just select it from my thoughts. まだ探してくれてるのかなそれとも捕まったとか<笑>ここだ Hiding in plain sight どうしたんだ関ヶ原将来とジャロワシに確認者進行しているなんだそれ That is how that comes to pass. That is why the nurse is dead in front of him with some empty pills when, you know, he awakens for a story segment. So, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? That's oddly accurate. To Nachan. It's awfully straightforward. Matakita. 
中には入ってこないけど一歩でも出たら捕まえにくいここに逃げ込んでからますます集まってきてるし持ってきた缶詰も昨日で最後節約して飲んでた缶ジュースもついに体どうしたらいいんだろう誰にも知られず死んじゃうのかな Yuki to the rescue. Come get it, you freaks. To the final battle. That was、uh, pretty short. <laughs> Gotta say. Expected a bit more, maybe. Oh well. So we could finish her. Yeah, you know. All about that story around here. Kokonara, Daijobu, and I. Kawara, Hiroishi, Daremoina. Hegar, what it would die, Jobu. Imakara, Yobuno, this car. Yoru, Mata Hoga, Yoino, do. Sugo, Kurika, Sura, Shikara. Is Shundaro? Daijobu, Daijobu. And access the locks. So it damaged a nigger. Do so no. That will destroy him. The AI. もちろんいいわ私
ロボットに乗って戦う BJ と一緒になっちゃんを危険な目に遭わせるわけにはたたかうなら私の方が。なんだって力を合わせて生きとりきるんだもちろんよ抵抗距離する痩せの軌道だオッケーあなたちいけ Make room for the data logs. What did you do? What did you say? Say something. He is no longer here. What? The records of his information are not available to him. He has to add the information of his own information. He has to add the information of his own information. He has to add the information of his own information. Oh, shit. <laughs> Farewell, buddy. Was nice knowing you. This is this goddamn horse from Ghost of Tsushima all over again. Uh. I could also play as A. So A and K Jaro. Uh currently available. Um However, we actually do have to make our way over on the battle section. Yeah. Move that forward. To gain access to more of the characters again. Uh so some more battling. Shibugaki City, Battle 7, Wave 7. Awaits us. Kurabe, Yakushiji on the strike team. Okay, now that. a trauma defense rate of 70% or higher. Should be able to do that as well. on defense. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Let's just get all of these now. Can enhance that. Okay, didn't know that. So who's on our team? And what do they need? I actually think shield matrix is better.
Also, let's just give her definitely that. That with defense mode. Actually, what does our intel say? Various long range specialized kaiju. Long range specialized. Okay. Actually sounds pretty great. Here you give those a try. Should be just about good here. Yeah? So let's give her a counter instead of a leg spike. Just wanna keep my skills ordered a little bit there. Kurabe Yakushiji. Okay. Wave seven. Coming from up there. Also, right in the middle of the map, which I absolutely do not like. Oh, I should have increased your interceptors, I guess. There's one wave coming so far. So what do we have? A lot of twin tails. That's a little bit wasted, actually, and then... Um... Having two shots of that is pretty good. 
twin tail is that shield hit somehow? All right, they are onto Ogata though. Shit, I don't think I can shield him in any way. And those are shielded somehow. see an app sauce anywhere. So what's shielding them? Can't do anything against them. How do I damage these guys? Let's get rid of these for now. Terra carrier incoming now. To be able to damage them now. Not coming from there. Oh, that has a lot of range. Coming from here, just some driller flies. Nothing too bad. Oh, this might be bad though. Take care of that carrier down there. Some sentry guns. Okay, I think we have that under control here.
now. Still more coming though. Actually, we'll have to defend a little bit there. Ah, of course. Just when you would need it. Oh, man, these two shots are pretty lethal, get it, man. Oh yeah, she has to move to do that. That's good. I'm gonna just use that to destroy this. I mean, that is a ground target, right? Yeah. Oh, actually, I think that's it. She actually took a bit of damage there. Got my first level 20. Never again. Make them pay. Used to loneliness. Sentinel damage. I'll take it. Twin tail. Okay. Chopsticks for two. Wow, seven, huh? Again, not yet. Here that got updated? Yeah, not soon. Minami changed the register's pilot of Sentinel number 17 on the Zomiro Bridge. At the same time, BJ raised his own mind in order to free space for Sentinel number 17's log data. For the sake of BJ, who entrusted her with Sentinel number 17 and the log data, Minami makes up her mind to face the kaiju. While transferring all logs of 2188 from Sentinel number 17 over to his storage, he deleted his own AI in order to free up enough space. In order to become a Sentinel pilot, one must be injected with nanomachines that enable command of the Sentinel and be registered as the pilot for that Sentinel. The Twin Tails, officially called Biomanual Grand Roller. Kaiju with two giant arms, compared to other kaiju, has a slow movement speed but specializes in range attacks such as long range missiles and gatling guns. But how does he actually fire off these rockets? Like, I mean, does he just use his arms to throw him? <laughs> how does that work? That's what I want to know. 
Alright, canned soda too. Fruit nectar paw paw. It's a canned juice that Denji Ogata found for Miwako Sawatari in the 2025 ruins. A 30% fruit juice and the juice of a popular fruit called paw paw, also known as a custard, op a custard apple. War of the Worlds. Famous science fiction novel released in 1898 by that one famous writer. It's about Martians evading Earth using three legged weapons called tripods. A war between the Earthlings' world and the Martians' world ensues. School uniform, a uniform that students of Sakura High School are required to wear. The boys' version has a stand up collar, while the girls' is a sailor outfit with a big collar. Sakura High School is a combat is a comprehensive junior and senior high school, but all students wear the same uniform regardless of their grade level. Those school uniforms are mainly used to specify which school students belong to and heighten the students' sense of belonging. It's sad that their historical and cultural significance is why they remain in use. Back that students use when attending school. There are a few variants made out of natural leather, mainly cowhide, or artificial leather. Inside Yuki Takamiya's flattened bag is a steel plate instead of textbooks. <laughs> That actually makes so much sense. And she immediately explains why she isn't able to knock people out by just flinging that around. I mean, who puts a steel plate into his school bag? Oh god. The vinyl bag is specific to the school. The material isn't the best. It's uncomfortable when it sticks to your skin on sweaty summer days and it's cold to the touch during the winter. Nice. Documents in the nurse's office. A document with a photo of Juri Karabe, but the name on it is Juri Izumi. It says, Psyche stabilized via drug administration. The patient is obedient and in general good health. The medication record that Ryoko Shinomone found in the nurse's office that contained the following details. Iyori Fuyizaka, Nana Machines Anchored, Memory Transplant, Attempt Number 7. Ryoko Shinomone, Memory Separation Progressing, Third Phase, like Juri Izumi, giving personality formation measures. In the nurse's office, a. Sigigahara found the medical records of the three students Ryoko Shinemone, Shu Amiguchi, and Yuro Izumi. It stated that Ryoko Shinemone is being treated with two types of pills, C0204 and C22, in an attempt to delay nanomachine separation in the brain and enhance her memory link. It's been over a week since she last received a dose. Shu Amiguchi was administered nanomachine medication called NM88076 once. It's also not test. 20% transplant rate. Joey Izumi is receiving two types of treatment, NMA8075 and B01. He received four doses of A8075, then switched to B01 from the fifth dose on. There's a scribble note that says B01 was synthesized by Tamara Kurabe. Chopsticks for two. Chopsticks for a married couple. Juro Kurabe and Megumi Yakushiji use them for dinner. They have a cute sakura design on them and are made out of ash tree, a hard yet subtle material. Second Graders Magazine Ninja got his most trusted item when he was in elementary school, a grade based educational magazine that was released in 1976. The three gifts attached to this were the multiplication train and the flexidisc version of Terror of Mecha Deimos. The mad, I would say. You know, if we aren't going to unlock any more of these mystery files, we will be done shortly here. Wonder what happens then. Alright, story time. So we got, we got Keitaro. And A. I'm gonna mind I'm gonna be Keitaro, but first I'm just gonna quickly go and grab a drink. I'll be gone just a second. Don't you guys go anyway here. Starting to get a little bit of a sore throat here by reading all of that. Also, let me just open the window for a little, because it's getting a bit stuffy. Mm. And then we'll dive in with Katero. Yeah. 
All right. So, no idea what we need this time. All we think about it. System no shoulder, set と真実だとしたら、なぜ私が<笑> Always with the girls, man. Oh, the boys. Natsuno san wa mukou da na. There she is. そんなに慌てて何があったんです。三浦君。いなくなったの、BJが。きっと迷子になったのよ。見つかったら連れて行かれちゃう。わかりました。手分けして探しましょう。そ、そうね。そんなに遠くには行ってないはず。校舎に入
話している騎兵で戦っていたのかあの化け物とそうだ姿が探査装置なのは夏野さんは知っているのか三浦圭太郎だと。未来から来たのなら知っているはずだこれから何が起こる私の体験は過去の出来事過去時間は相対的なものだ未来の技術でも遡ることはそうじゃ我々の時代などこれ I said so from the beginning でも I'm not quite from the beginning but 未来の三浦慶太郎だろう<笑>あの記録映像のすべてか Why is his voice so different? What did I get tell you guys? What did I tell you? There is no time travel. We are all in these space colonies the whole time. I mean, that was the truth bomb right then and there.
Jesus. Uh, oh, hey, we could l unlock Takatoshi again. Let's check in with A though. Okay, what do we need? We need a cryptic note. Oh yeah, telephone. Yourself, Charlie. ジロナラバ。南夏のが俺の過去を紐解く。鍵となるのは間違いないだろう。信じるならば。しかし、まずは停滞ユニットだ。南夏の調査するならば。個別に確認を行っても遅くはない。それよりどう彼女に接近するか
ま、周辺で俺を探すつもりか。しばらく物質には近づけないな。ちょっと訪ねたいんだが。陸上部の部員はどこにいる私たち陸上部ですが。何か用ですか？ Nancy knows quite popular, isn't she? A lot of guys looking for her. Minami,外周走りに行って、まだ帰ってきてないよね。そうですね。外周、ありがとう。Guess we'll find out soon enough. おかげでお前が分からない。今は誰の味方なのか。お前たち、俺をこんな場所に誘い込んで、何を始める気だ。目的は彼でしょ。前に俺の映像を映した。違う。お前に渡したのはこいつじゃない。特務機構が用意した別のユニットだ。ああいえと指示されたんだよ。特務機構。黒服たちさ。お前は一体何者なんだ？ユキ。高宮ユキだ。
なっちゃんが目をつけられてる黒服があの映像を俺になぜだ高宮由紀ロテでユニットを俺に渡した女だ記憶を失う前の俺を知っているようだが声の言うデータユニットかあなたにメッセージがあるメッセージあなたに見せてって彼に頼まれたからなっちゃん<笑>君がメモリを一時的に消去したのは俺のせいかそうだ誰かに俺が言いだとガルデンお前を騙していたこともみんな知っていたんだな三浦知らないんだろうじゃいいかってそんなけだった<笑>そうか解析が終わっていたあの記録データを見せなかったのは俺を思ってか知らないねいいこと困る研究の第一人者森村千尋だ、うん、入面者の元幹部だな会社を去った後四季島のプロジェクトに参加させていたが中止になった後も警告を無視して続行している計画が我が社に与える損害は甚大だ違うな何あんたが推し進めた入面者の買収には裏取引で多額の闇資金が動いた何を根拠に森村の宇宙計画は買収における12の看板計画の一つだがあんたたちは資金の偽装に使ったところが用済みになって頓挫させた森村の計画を国際機関が拾い上げる可能性が出てきたそうなれば当然調査が入るあんたのチームは危ういわけだ関ヶ原落としているのかまさか俺は殺し屋だ仕事を完璧にするため詳細な情報が欲しいだけだ<笑>建設中のコロニーセクター4に彼女の研究室がある私も来月視察のため軌道に上がるそれまでに潜入して秘密裏に処理しろセクター4のセキュリティ情報と警備員の身分 ID を送った森村千尋を消してプロジェクトを止めろまずはクレジットを確認してからだどういうことだ森村ってあの先行だろ未来からあいつを殺しに来たのかしかもメガネ野郎と言いだとするんで何をやってたんだ俺が殺しややはり森村はまさか冬坂も狙っていたのか<笑>三浦を騙していた命令権限の変更のことかいや違う
Stärke. ドローンで俺を見ていたのか。見つけたのは偶然だよ。君と同様に私も今は死人で通ってる。セクター <笑> あの2066を使ったんだ。よく調べたな。君の騎兵が感染源だから。今は君が犯人だったとされている。そのようだな。犯人が誰かはわからない。だが、あの敗戦で森村千尋はイージス作戦を決めた。could she have actually been the one to initiate that? To ensure that the Sentinels would lose so that they would have to go through the Operation Aegis. So セクター 3 ループできなければ君の町も誰もいない廃墟のままだ。ループというのは時間を戻ることだろう。天とは違うのか。この世界は生まれてまだ15年しか経ってない。君のいた2066年も2049年より以前は。存在しないんだ。存在しない。だが、ここは適当なことを言うなよ。その別の世界とやらを証明できるのか。三浦から記録の話を聞いたはずだ。記録。2088年の記録だよ。私もそのデータを調べていて分かった。どうやらそこが本当の世界で、我々はいずれ戻るはずだ
君たちは回復の見込みがないだが助かる方法はある何記憶が消える前の君たちを作り直された世界に連れて行ってやろう DD426 の作用もそれで消えるできるのかそんなことが<笑>それで俺に何を望むループだよイージス作戦を止めもう一度やり直す協力してほしいまだ私の話を信じられないかああ記録を見れば真実だとわかる17番騎兵を見つけてほしい<笑>彼がコピーを取ったのはわかってる次の世界でも役立つデータだ手に入れたいそこにドローンがあるだろうドローン起動させるのそれはただのドローンじゃない彼だ三浦彼は騎兵がランダム転移する前自分をそのドローンに移して脱出したセクター2で保護したんだがどうやら私のやり方に反対でね協力を拒まれた君が私から助け出したことにしたまえ何だと君が一芝居打って彼からデータを引き出すんだ騙せというのかなぜか17番騎兵の命令権限が私でなく彼になっていて17番の追尾も起動も行えるのは彼だけだ協力しろもちろん三浦も連れていく何より君と東雲君のためださて学校のゲートは建物が崩れて使えないそこの奥に新たな座標をセットした君が使うといい待て俺はまだ彼に悟られないよう組織に君を追わせるが部下に事実は伏せておく捕まるなよ私は Oh so he was the one who was constantly in contact with A over the radio The message. <laughs> well, we are getting there. We are getting there. So we could continue with Takatoshi. Actually, the only one we could continue with. Uh, <laughs> oh, isn't that wonderful? Uh. All right, but instead, I think we'll just go ahead and um, do another battle for now, right? Yo, thank you for the follow, Labrat. Six one six. Very appreciated, thank you, thank you. And we'll go ahead into Shimogaki City Battle 8, Wave 8. Only three more battles to go before we can actually 
acts as more of our characters again. Variety of aerial kaiju. Third generation, fourth generation only. Oh boy. Only third and fourth, huh? I mean, it makes sense if we are to go ahead and fight aerial kaiju. Uh, how far can you actually increase this stuff? All right, now let's max that. Okay, so we got all the terminal enhancements actually. So I don't have shoe. I have all the others. It should be pretty good, actually. Just have to go and uh, increase the interceptors with her as well. Uh... So, what to do? What to do? What to do? Should we upgrade? Power plus five, plus three hundred. Shoot, that does a lot of damage. Holy crap! Let's see. Uh, you know what? I think I should actually go ahead and increase her neural link as well, because she does work well with Yakushiji. Make sure I can use those two in tandem. What are the other skills we got? Use Elonius. Please all set when no allies are nearby. And defending increases all stats of the strike team. Ooh. So yeah, just use all of his EP. Have him defend. Increase everybody else. Gotcha. But as members on the strike team, the higher attack increases. Nah, don't like that. Attack increase on Charm, the defense rate is 40% or below. Eh. Make them pay. Attack, wait time recovery speed, and move speed increases temporarily after taking a certain amount of damage. Uh, could be useful, but... Uh, anyway. Did get the chance to use any of this so far. Actually, what if I were to increase his generator? Nope, probably not his generator, but the ones with the super large missiles, so Miura, for example. How much would... He has 830 EP at the moment. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whopping 8 points. I mean, I guess this will go up even further, but... Uh, uh, it's such a minor increase. Actually, why don't I actually go ahead and unlock her other abilities? Okay, missile rain does 18 times 150. This does 110 times 6. So missile rain would actually be better. But it probably costs more. Yeah, it costs way more. Nope. Do not like. But then again, we cannot increase the power of long range missiles. Uh, you know, 
might give it a try. Ah, uh, not for now though. Yeah, no, let's just go ahead and unlock things here. He actually has flare torpedoes. Okay, so third generation, fourth generation only. Do we have that? City defense rate at the time of clearing 80% or higher. this for hours now. I feel like every new battle that we do, we are actually up against different enemies, <laughs> which is actually pretty cool, don't get me wrong. It absolutely keeps you on your toes. Okay, I won't have sentinel sentries, sentry guns in this time. Got a shitload of interceptors there. Okay, to just wait around for now. Okay, what do we have? Uh, it's not so much actually. I wonder if that will do much to them. Guess we'll find out. It's not too bad, actually. Yeah, so when he defenses, the stats of everybody else increases. The others have landed yet. So can't fire super missiles, so defend again. I should drop a few. Okay, the carriers. Next wave is just about to arrive, so wait until that, and then we'll use the EMP pulse again. Yeah. Can use the interceptors in the meantime, though. Against that. Okay, there is the wave. And let's just use it now. 
Drop all of the flyers and mobilize them for a bit. Which means you are free. Oh yeah, listen to that music. Just a little bit. Oh, okay, and they got destroyed. That worked as well. Oh, we actually reached the maximum on that, huh? <laughs> Interesting. And this is the power of 50. Hey, what does overheating even do? Yeah, they are overheated. Now what? No idea. Okay, wait for that other wave to drop, and then we'll use another EMP. Actually, you know what? Let's try to use this missile rain. Wow, that has a really high reach. Hanking, yeah. Okay, 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 I see, I see, I mean, it only did scatter damage, like, that was not focused at all, but, <laughs> yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, you just can basically lay down cover fire. Oh, 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 we are getting attacked. Yep, drop him. Those got way too close to us. Could you use the missile rain again? Just feel it would be a lot of wasted shots. Still got more EMPs for you. By the way, what happened to all of my interceptors? It's actually still active. Oh, they are fighting a terror carrier down there. I see. Except this should be able to take care of the rest from here. 
Took a little bit of damage, but I guess that's fine. Because she was nice for once. You're so reckless. Research notebook. Combo tag, nearly 4,000. Well, we defeated a lot of enemies, I guess. Yeah. Give me that ass. That's what I like to say. Terra carrier. Alright, cool. Oh yeah. Soft serve. And a bunch more mystery points. Okay. So, let's have a look. What's new here? Jihiro Morimura, 2188. When Keitaro Miura asks her why they didn't create a residential district of the 2180s, Morimura explains that the decision was to start over from a time before the world took such a terrible turn. She also notes that they couldn't come to an agreement as to how far they should go back, so they ultimately settled on preparing residential districts by era. A former executive of Newman Inc and a leading figure in nanotech research. She has a research lab in Sector 4, which is a colony that's still under construction. Sector 4 is 1985, isn't it? Hey. Before Sekigawa lost his memories, Tetsuya Ida told him to deceive Miura to extract information if he wanted to stop the effects of DD-426. An assassin who was hired by the 2188 Seki... Yeah. Shikishima CEO, Renya Goto, to kill Chihiro Morimura. Renya Goto. During the acquisition of Newman Incorporated, he used Morimura's interstellar development project as a front to hide a backdoor transfer of a large slush fund, then suspended the project to cover up the proof. However, Morimura's project was about to face another investigation by an international agency for project re-evaluation. Shortly before the nanomachine infection began, Renya Goto feared that the investigation would shed light on where his funds went, so he hired Aisek Igahara to assassinate Morimura and put an end to her project. What project was he trying to fund with that slush fund? Colonization stuff? No, that was Morimura's project. 
Hito Mira, he's the architect of the sectors, the virtual residential districts. He calls them sectors since they're constructed just like the five space colonies. He's always wanted to live in an era before the war. Wait, so the sectors are different from the space colonies? I thought the sectors are the space colonies. Yuki. And the SIU's orders, she hands over the scout unit to A. Sigigahara, who had lost his memories. BJ. BJ's true identity is Kate Ramiro from the past world. 2108, I think. Kate. There are five possible shift destinations Sector 1, 2100. Sector 2, 2060s. Sector 3, 2020s. Sector 4, 1980s. Yeah, Sector 5, 1940s. Okay, so Mori Mora does have a secret lab in Sector 4 in the 1980s. Uh, that is probably where A was able to track her down to when he killed her, supposedly. Pills! Sekigahara, prior to losing his memories, delivered these pills to Mori Mora in order to save Jiro Kurabe and Shinomone. Ah, because of the separation stuff. In reality, they aren't traveling to the past or future, but between each sector. <laughs> I've been telling you that for the past few streams already, that there is no time travel. They are just traveling from one location to the other. I knew it, and I was right. <laughs> I didn't have to go down with that ship. All right. Operation Aegis. When the Aegis system is activated for all terminals, the world cannot be restarted, and they can no longer loop. Okay, so basically when the Deimos attack, um, they destroy the mainframe, which causes it then to repair itself and the sector that has been destroyed anyway. I mean, that is what I get out of that. So yeah, they would eradicate all life, but things would repair themselves and it would start again. Which would basically be a never ending loop. Sounds actually a bit like, um, what are they calling in? You know, Mass Effect, the Reapers. You know, like what the Reapers do. At the height of uh, a civilization, they just swoop in, destroy everything, extract some kind of data to store it, and then, you know, the universe keeps on growing again until the civilization has reached another height when they swoop in again, and so on and so forth. Oh wait, there it is, Luke. The kaiju invasions caused the world to be reset every 16 years. As a result, the students grow up and die before reaching adulthood and are then born again to repeat the cycle. The cycle is what they call a loop. <laughs> Why did I have to <laughs> explain that just before I went this? Once the kaiju gain control of every mainframe in all sectors, the world is automatically recreated as a new loop begins. Oh, so they have to read them mainframes in all sectors, so as long as one sector stands, there won't be a loop. If you save your own data or shift yourself to sector zero, then you'll be able to skip the reset and end up in the new world, which is 16 years in the past, while maintaining your current appearance. However, you would no longer be human in the new loop, but merely a simulated personality that Universal Control has reconstructed. Oh, so that is why Morimura told Tetsuya Ida to shift back 16 years and meet her at, what was it called, Sumiri Bridge? Yeah, but because that is where, you know, the world was created again. So sector Zero, what was Sector Zero again? That is the main frame, right? Of the colony. Oh, yeah, now I see. Simulated personality, yeah, because you would basically be a clone or something. No. Why would you be a simulated personality? Oh, because you save your data. Um. 
just a little bit iffy on the implications there. Terra Carrier, officially called Megaton Class Gyro Cargo. Giant aerial carrier kaiju utilizes powerful attacks through machine guns and can also trigger assaults by unleashing the massive number of hunters stored within, equipped with thick armor. Residential District Dome. 1.2 million people live inside it. Universal Control. The universal control of all sectors gets taken over by Daimos, the five sectors get reset, the world gets recreated, and a new loop occurs. And we are at the moment at the third loop, right? Sectors. Well, so that is how it looks. I thought they were like separate. In 2188, the satellite orbiting Earth had five colonies called sectors. Since the residential areas that Kato Miura created for Project Arg are structured similarly to the colonies, they were also called sectors. Morimura, as well as other individuals involved with Project Arg, Felt that humanity should start over from a time before the nanomachine incidents. But then somebody transplanted nanomachines into Ninji. However, they couldn't come to an agreement as to how far they would go back, so they ultimately settled on preparing residential districts by error, which is how the five sectors were born. So, what are these nanomachine incidents? We still had similar ideas. 2089 to 2109. It is already in ruins through the Kaiju attacks and toxic levels of radiation. Sector 2. A facility that simulates the years 2049 to 2069. It is already in ruins through the Kaiju attacks. Sector 3. A facility that simulates the years 2009 to 2029. It is already in ruins through the Kaiju attacks. It was used as a trial run for Operation Aegis. The self defense system was successfully activated for one of the terminals here. Yeah, but it's completely destroyed, right? It can't loop anymore because Operation Aegis was successful. So that sector is gone for good. The facility that simulates years 1969 to 1989. It is still a peaceful place where Kaiju have not yet invaded. Sector 5. The facility that simulates years 1929 to 1949. It's already ruined through the Kaiju attacks. Yeah, it's only a Sector 4 of that left. Morimura used Sector 3 as a trial for Operation Aegis. She, she succeeded in activating the self defense system of one terminal. Soft serve. The pub soft serve that offers both a rich flavor and refreshing aftertaste. Yuri Fuyizaka, Tomi Kisaragi, and Biwako Sawatari enjoy this on their way home from school. The fragrant cone is delicious, delicious down to the very last bite. Okay, time to unlock some new stuff. League of Darkness, evil organization that appeared in Kamen Hero Stranger, TV show that Nenji Ogata was obsessed with at second grade. They focus on destroying human society and nature with chief evil at the helm. They consist of the machine people, humans that return to cyborgs, and other nefarious forces of darkness. Shikishima Industries, this is affiliated with Shikishima Conglomerate. The conglomerate has political ties and grew to its large size during the Meiji era. They started off the business mainly with shipbuilding, but afterward entered the air transportation sector. During the war, they focused on weapons production, and post-war, they became a world-famous machinery maker that makes everything from household electronics to rockets. Cheek Sky. Natsuna Minami got this when Tamao Kurabe's android shot her in the face. It looks as if she's been stabbed by a needle. Minami doesn't remember anything about what happened before or after it. The red marking almost looks like the number 17. While she was about to shoot Minami, Tamao's android said, Those monsters, the ones that destroyed the city, they have a new commander, and it's you. So, starting now, I'll be the one giving you your orders. Black wallet. Oh yeah, that is why we saw... Um, Izumi with Natsuno in Nenji's uh, collections. Fancy leather wallet. Inside are two 10,000 yen bills, one 5,000 yen bill, two 1,000 yen bills, one 500 yen bill, one 100 yen coin, two 10 yen coins, a reset for a restaurant, 2,400 yen charge for four plates of katsu curry, and no credit cards. That is awfully specific. So for the paper, I found the pocket of the dead woman, Miss Morimura. The true rows of numbers are 4436853214. Envelope. 
I'm not it was on the ground near where AC Gigahara woke up. There was a document and a noted site. The document says Chiro Muramara, 31, Sakura High School nurse, a key member of Shikishima's weapon development team. The note says if captures are possible, then shoot to kill. Minami's notebook. Natsuna Minami's large notebook that starts off with what follows is an investigation investigative record of important moments in time and space. Yeah, we read that a lot with Yuki. Similar to the glasses that Yuki Takamiya finds in the girls' bathroom in the North School building, the glasses that Tomiki Saragi wears have a red frame made of plastic, originally developed for use in airplanes, and those very light and flexible, so they won't break even if they get twisted. The lens is cut at 100% of ultraviolet rays and high-energy visible light. Takamiya thought that Kizaragi, who, was, who has the same exact glasses as a scrap pair she found, might have something to do with Natsuno Minami's disappearance. Ah, oh, come on, we only need four more, and we would have unlocked all of it. Well, you know, unless more gets revealed. Anyhow, I think it's time for Takatoshi. It's been a while since we played with him. Before dawn. Wait, what was the last thing we did with him, actually? Oh yeah, the Yaki Super Pan Angel. And then he was shot by her. <laughs> this guy and his Yaki Soba Pan. Makes me want to eat some myself, actually. Not here, as always. So what do we need to do? No idea. Just do not help feed the cat. Why does he instantly fall in love with everybody around him? Which instructor? Takatoshi is such a weirdo. Alright, where do we go? Have another drink? Maybe? Oh, 
いろんな名で呼ばれているのかなんで福猫なのあの子の近くでお金拾うこと多いんだって<笑>それって本当まあ小銭らしいけど小銭試しに百葉箱の下を見てみるかそうそう落ちてないかこれは It's actually money. <laughs> 百円効果だこれはありがたい I guess we can use that to get ourselves a drink. That must have triggered something, right? We should have used our money there. Sauce de Caramet, Sengon, Yaki, Oprak, Okinoa, Nekoma Skida. Yo, Nakara Nanda to you, Wakede, what Nino Daga. Really now. Hakuen Kokoda. Korewa Arigatai. Yeah, this is weird. So can we get ourselves some yakisoba pan now? Am I supposed to search everywhere for change now? Oh, 
Oh, ah. Uh, yeah, I wanted to go into the building. Already found money here. Lots of money there. That only leaves the cafeteria. And, uh... The old school building. Could, of course, go for Yakisoba, huh? ヤキソバパンくださいまたせたなヤキソバパンヤキソバパンくださいヤキソバパンくださいヤキソバパンくださいヤキソバパンくださいヤキソバパンくださいヤキソバパンくださいヤキソバパンくださいヤキソバパン
救命装置が使えない俺の命もあと数時間なんでこんなことに箱舟計画のエネルギーをめぐって揉めた司も計画を中止し生命維持に回すべきだと主張した尾形たちが銃を持ち出さなければいや悔やんでももう遅い泉さんが司を撃った。生き残っているのはおそらく<笑>あの場から逃げた東雲博士と伊田博士そして瀕死の俺<笑>ぐらいか<笑>格納庫が吹き飛んでコロニーは壊滅的だ<笑>もう20時間もつまり全てが終わる沖野が殺される今の映像は何なんだ The past, my friend. The past. なんだこの不安感は沖野、どこだ Oh, we're actually inside for once. Okay. Okino, Buji da taka. Hijiyama kun, sonna ni awatete dou shita na? Nani? Yahari ano ezo wa Okino da. Are wa nan datta nda? 僕の顔に何かついてる学校には行かなかったのかああ今日はちょっと時間旅行をね<笑>もしかして学校で僕を探してたのいや別に<笑> Such a bad liar. もしかして学校でいやまあ、無事でよかった<笑>いいわけがあるかなぜ俺が沖野を見て安堵せねばならん相変わらずその格好なんだな<笑>貴様おっと動けば撃つ<笑>俺をつけてきたのかおかげで沖野が見つかったよまさか沖野を殺しに落ち着けよ肘山君彼は関ヶ原エイ僕と彼は同類さ<笑>そうだろよくあれで持たせてるなここに来た理由は多分僕と一緒になるため銃は下げてくれもう逃げたりしない沖野お前が必要だ俺を助けてくれいいね素
直な君は好きだよ貴様らまさかそのできているのかステリー<笑>だとしたら君はどうするの Hey, I have got 50% of his story. I can even continue with him. However, I do have. Ah. Can't continue with A anyway. So, I guess more Chakatoshi it is then. I mean, you know, it's fitting, because it's been quite a while since we played with him. Isn't it obvious, dude? Alright, off to school once more. Sote Okino Dokoda. Who could know that going to school could actually be this exciting? I mean, you know. Just look at this game. Everything that's happening here. It all centers around this one school. Holy crap. My school wasn't that exciting. At least I don't think it was. いる養護教諭の森村を保健室に近づけないでくれ。森村は白衣を着ている。すぐわかるよ。10分は近づけるな。おい。頼んだよ。ビッグワイトコート。大木野が保健室に潜入するので、皇帝にいる森村を足止め
Okay, was that enough time? Put the cars out to get whatever you wanted. もっと近くで見ろよ。どうだ。これを初めて見たときは、俺も興奮で言葉が出なかった。これが綺麗。そうだ。腕や足がついていて。まるで鉄の巨人だ。そうとも。2000トンの無敵の鉄人だ。正面の戦艦並みの手法がわかるか。俺も詳しくはわからんのだが、創薬ではなく電力磁場というので、1トンの砲弾を飛ばすそうだ
Wrong direction. Masaka. Kisama. Dare ka to moe ba Keitaro jya nai ka? Anata wa? Wakara nai ka? Ore da yo, Hijiyama da. Kisama mo kotchi e mayo i konda to na. Takatoshi san. Ah, kono atama ka. Wakaran no mo muri wa nai. Han toshi mo koko de ikite kita. Kami mo nobiru sa. よく見てみろ、俺だ<笑>本当に、高俊さんだ貴様はいつ来たこっちにどうやって来たんだあっちはあれからどうなった待ってください、そんな一度には腹減ってないか、俺のねぐらい来い焼きそばパンを食わせてやるぞいえ大丈夫です今はクラベのお孫さんのお世話になってますそうかだが焼きそばパンは一度食うべきだこの時代で一番うまい食い物だぞ You haven't tried anything else ハンバーグというものをご存知ですかハンバーおそらくこの世で最もうまいものですそんなわけがあるかボアガ<笑>オキノの話は秘密だと言っていたなどうじきりこの話をするのもまずいな騎兵はどうなったそれが私は騎兵でこの時代に来ました騎兵で来た騎兵にも時間旅行の機能があるのです何だとやはりあれは未来の兵器なんだな騎兵はどこだこっちにあるんだろうあるにはありますが動かせませんその上この時代の政府と敷島に取られてしまいましたなんてこったあなたが急に姿を消したのはこちらに来たからか俺がいなくなった後どうなったあなたは同時キリコと共に逃げたと報告を受けましたバカも休み休み言え貴様も俺をスパイだと思うのかまさか仮にそうだったとしてもあなたはもう咎められたりしないどういう意味だ我々の時代にはもう誰も残っていないやはり歴史通り敗戦にそうじゃありません怪物に壊されたどういうことだ詳しく話せ<笑>待てよ沖野慶太郎が言ってた怪物ってのはちゃんと説明しろもうおいここは説明するより見た方が早い昭和20年に行けばね、うん、やはりこの神社か時間旅行のための場所なんだな行くだろうもちろんだ出発しよう<笑>この辺りも同じか玉尾さんの家があったはずだがまではまるでわからん慶太郎の言う通りだ交渉にも避難所にも人影はなく探し回っても誰とも出会えないここは空襲で焼けたように見えるが遺体にすら出くわさん
他の地域から救助が来てもいない日本だけじゃないおそらく世界中が同様の状態だ同じくらいの大きさのやつからもっと大きなやつもいるだろうここに残っているのはごく一部に過ぎない数百以上の大群が押し寄せたんだ<笑>皆はあれに食われたのか食べないよ囚らわれたんだ地下にある円盤に円盤ダイモスはこの下に埋まってる巨大な円盤を狙ってるあいつらが円盤に接触したら円盤が人を転移させるその目的も転移先も不明だおふくろもタナオさんもそいつに捕まってんのかこんなありさまなのに1985年は君も気づいたかもしかして平行世界とかいうあれか意外に物知りだな慶太郎から借りた科学小説で読んだ<笑>一つだけ確かなのはそれだここと向こうは時系列でつながってない It makes perfect sense. I can play with Keijo Rogan. Ah, uh, so yeah, that will probably be his last story path. So let's take a look. の騎兵じゃないかそりゃ来るさ。あれかはい。あのビルに騎兵があります。不思議なもんだな。まもなくここが戦場だ。未来だという。こんなわけのわからない場所で訓練してきた本土防衛戦をやる実際がどうあれあんな最新兵器で戦えるだけ俺たちは恵まれているタカトシさん
私に何かあれば千尋をお願いできますかバカ野郎貴様の窮地には俺が必ず駆けつける死ぬ時があるなら俺が先だ弱気になるな誰が死ぬものかはい気合が足らんぞ慶太郎行きましょう騎兵を取り返しますおうあおおこれだ Oh, just there Okay Where did he get that? Let's go, dude. Hell yeah. To the final bell. <clears throat> All right. Speaking of battle, doing ourselves. Shibagaki City Battle Nine Wave Nine. Modified shield Absos Kaiju will appear. Oh god, no. Shinanome Sekigahara. Sekigahara and Shinanome. Okay, okay. First generation, second generation only. Well, that makes the decision pretty easy on who to take then, I guess. I think I maxed all of this out, right? Yeah, I did. Alright. So, you know what? Let's just get everybody's abilities then first. Don't know if I'll actually need all of that, but. I guess it's nice to have. Alright. How much further can you actually increase all of this? I think I'm pretty happy with her loadout so far. Jammer rocket launchers could actually come in handy. Uh, probably also got the shield emitter.
What does A need actually? Sounds better than tackle now, doesn't it? Nome Sekigahara are on the team. First generation, second generation only. Got that covered. So I guess we are ready to do this. Modified shield Absos. There we go. We have an eye. Nearly midnight. So, as always, always sentry guns first. Then have our first generation sentinels. Towards the front line. And just wait for the Kaiju to appear. Okay, what do we have? Lots of flyers. Be a bit overkill, but I 
wanna get them away from there. Oh wait, what? No, got destroyed. Just gonna say. Stay there. Can I even hit them? Now, was let's do this first. I think that should disrupt their shields, right? It's really hard to know when their shield is disrupted, actually. Because it kind of always looks like it is. Okay, flyers. And lots of shit over there. Let's just use this. That disrupts them all. So now gives us time to move over. That before I can even get there. Yeah, you know what? There are new dramas coming in, so maybe back up just a little bit. Awkward. Oh, that's actually a gladiator. It's two. She didn't even see that. Job there. <laughs> got, got so many of these sentry guns in place now. <laughs> Holy crap. Tank. Oh, come on, really? The thing is still alive. Oh. That's not good. Better. Oh yeah, babes. 
Get wrecked. Cleaned up. So let's go to the last engagement. Probably. Actually, got to you a little bit out of there. Maximum reach, huh? Alright. That should be that. Oh no, we took 73 damage. How could that happen? Don't mess with me. CQC specialist. And any enemies. That's not that much. Yeah, I'll take it. 1% damage. Arm mounted pulse lasers. Alright. This object is completed. Uh, communication device. Alright. Got quite a few points again. Won't advance just yet. So. Let's see, look at that. When the Kaiju appear in 985, Miura takes back and activates Sentinel number 19 with the help of Hijiyama. At that moment, he decides that he will protect everyone he holds to you, even if it costs him his life. Katoshi Hijiyama, 2188. The Katoshi Hijiyama of 2188 was in a romantic relationship with Tsukasa Okino. He murders Juru Izumi to avenge Okino's death during the shootout in Sector 4. However, he was severely injured in the fray and succumbs to his wounds soon after. Ninja Ogata. At an emergent dispute over Project Arc, Ogata reveals he'd come armed, which resulted in a shootout. In the ensuing chaos, Ogata was killed. Tsukasa Okino. 
Back in 1944, when Okino called himself Kiriko Doji, he operated on Takatoshi Hijiyama and Keitaro Miura to ensure the synchronicity with the Sentinels. In doing so, he implanted a linking component into their heads. Well, we can unlock this too. Tsukasa Okino of 2188 was in a romantic relationship with Takatoshi Hijiyama. As a result of the shootout at Sector 4, he was shot and killed by the Juro Izumi of that time period. Shintaro, he often finds loose change on the ground. Guess cats really do like shiny objects. <laughs> Communication device. Transceiver used by the men in black suits. So it is comparatively limited at 1.2 kilometers. Arm ultra pulse lasers. Fourth generation sentinel armament. Shoots laser beams from both arms intermittently. To make the intervals between each burst shorter, it sacrifices some precision, but since it can fire many lasers in a wider area, it is often used to keep enemy forces in check. Fourth generation units are the only sentinels capable of using laser weapons, the armor and pulse lasers being one of them. Calling in satellite orbit. Dispute over whether to allocate the remaining energy towards Project ARG or life support led to a shootout, resulting in seven deaths. Hmm. Alright. Kuraba Residence Layout. The large old hall has a total floor space of 160 square meters. Originally it was just one story, but it was rebuilt to add a second story. Jura Kurabe uses the back room of the second floor. Back room of the second floor. Alright. Uh, Miko Yakushiji uses the middle room on the east side of the first floor. And Kate Taro Miura uses the guest room close to the entrance area of the first floor. Ah, so Megumi has the one just above the kitchen there, I suppose. Yeah. The Karabu residence layout was created by Keitaro Miura in 2188, based off the things Tamao Karabu heard from my grandfather, as well as the old films that remained. Photo of Takamiya and Miyami. Photo of Yuki Takamiya and Natsuno Minami when they were in elementary school. This picture was taken in the home of Takamiya's grandmother on her father's side. Around this time, Takamiya liked her hair short, and Minami was known as the illustrious Dr. Space. Goto's notebook. Notebook that Renya Goto always walks around with. It includes schedules, diary entries, investigative findings, issues, unanswered questions, and more, all written with characteristic conciseness and clarity. This is one of the birthday gifts that Goto was given each year by his father, but he only has a few more days before all the pages are filled. Japanese history book published in January of 1985 and contains Japanese history from the Stone Age up to the first half of the 1980s. Ketaro Miura reads this book in Shu Amiguchi's room. And that is actually all of the mystic files that we could unlock, at least so far. Coolio! Story! So I guess we'll jump back in with Takatoshi. Yep, I'll do that. However, Give me just one second to get myself to the drink and quickly use the bathroom and I will be back in just a minute. Don't go anywhere guys.
All right. Takatoshi Ijiyama. Here we go. Where is he indeed? That would be way too convenient. Oh, but there's Rinya. Kimi, much to my. Zuibun Fuki no Midata Kapoda. Quit our Kirimonoga Nainda. Kimi no Yona Setonga Konoga Koni Takana. Mio Boyganai. Doko no Setoda. That's bad, man. That hurts. Interesting that we could just run away from Winya. Yeah. <laughs> Not this again. Kihei wa mirai no heki. Nani yara ni densan ki hito. Yatsu ga kataru ichiren no dekigoto wa. Okay, we made our circle. was not the trigger. Strange though. It's normally always this way.
Of the idol fan, huh? Well, I guess you could go to the break area. And, uh, what else are we supposed to do? It's not a lot happen. Ah, see, there's the cat. And there's the money. She probably got to Renya. Do we have enough money for Yaki Super Pan? Or was that 200? Maybe just get something to drink? Kimi, That was the trigger, huh? Alright. Okay. Do we now have enough for the Yakisoba pan? Or have I spent too much money at the vending machine? Thank God. Matasetana, 
Okay, now what? It's not here. ま、別に誰でもいいだろう。うん。そうだ。先に伝えておくよ。今日もちょっと戻るのが遅くなる。ここのところ毎晩だな。どこへ行ってる。時坂神社か。別にどこだっていいだろう。夜は先に何か食べておいてくれ。今はダメだ。日暮れに時坂神社で待ち伏せよ。待ち伏せするにもまだ早い。しばらく時間を潰すか。しかし大きな目。金なんぞでこの俺が。おとなしく待つとでも思っているのか。無性に腹が立ってきた。こんな金。今すぐ全部使ってやるわ。How many did he get? Like, <laughs> dude. I'm gonna eat all the yakisoba. You just have to go ahead and spend all the money. drinks. And you gotta get a stomach ache, dude. にして寝過ごすとは。すでに二人は行った後だろうな。ここで待って。戻ってきたところを抑えるしかない。
That is how this comes to pass. Oi, Hijiyama. Ore no koto suki hoda shi yagatte. Ore ga wasereta to omou na yo. So yeba kisama. Do nigeta ka shiran ga. Mou ichido. Itai me ni aitai yo da na. So it's a do ka na. Ogata kun. Kisaragi san sagasun ja nakatta no. So iya so da. Asun deru bai ja ne. Warui ga aite wa mata kondo da. Katte na koto o nukashi yagaru. Omei wa nan de koko ni iru nda. Okino o sagashite tanda. Okino ga dou shita? Sawatari san ni kii tanda kedo. Kisaragi san wa otoko no koto o nukashi yagaru. Omei wa nan de koko ni iru nda. Okino o sagashite tanda. Okino ga dou shita? Sawatari san ni kii tanda kedo. Kisaragi san wa otoko no koto o nukashi yagaru. Omei wa nan de koko ni iru nda. Okino o sagashite tanda. Okino ga dou shita? Kisaragi no yatsu, a itsu to itta no ka? Osoraku a soko darou kedo. Shitteru no ka? Ah, so nna koto o hanashite ta kara na. Tokoro de kisama, jikan ryokou no sousa wa dekiru ka? E, omae mo tsukae nae no ka? なんで同じ場所に隠れてんだ暑苦しい向こうへ行けうるせえなおめえこそあっち行きゃいいだろうくそやぶかが多いな今日は来てないのかもしれんぞクラベは帰っちまったが訳を知るまでは俺は帰らねえ俺もだ現状はもう何が何だかわからんそのキサラギという女性とと貴様はどういう関係なんだんだどっちだよ友達かここ数日は大きのの女装を見てないしもしかしたらあいつあの女性とのことを一応は波の男だったか大きのつかさ ついてるわけじゃないよ。本当に映像が分かってる。アクセスの記録はあったからね。だがどうして反応がないんだ。沖野バカまだ出るな。大方こんなとこで何やってんの？うっせえよ。もしかして焼き餅焼いてまちぶせ。あ、誰がお前なんかに。君もそうなのか？焼き餅で。ま、バカを言うな。俺はただ。俺はただ。お前が心配だっただけだ。あ、して。なんだろう？近いの。あ、
but it's just this. の中だよ。これは未来の人間が作ったのか。宇宙人かもね。あ、円盤。ここは地下なのか。いいだろう。まずはこれを見てくれ。真ん中が下橋だ。この地下300メートルにこれがある。円盤。直径はほぼ30キロメートル。なんてでかさだ。ダイモスというのがこれを狙って。そうだ。円盤はセクター5。つまり。昭和20年にも埋まってて、ダイモスに接触されて人々は消された。僕のいた時代も同様で、唯一無事なのが昭和60年のあの場所だけだ。どうした？昭和60年。平行世界だとしても違和感があるな。未来から過去へ40年ご
最後のアクセスはおそらく如月富が見たという衛星軌道の何かだそこからダイモスの設計データを引き出しているそれが解明しても世界を救えるかはわからないんだな希望的観測だがこの円盤と衛星軌道の何かが分かれば消えた人々を戻せる可能性はある<笑>そうだよまだ何か見落としてる気はしてるもっと根本的な何かを。No more secrets. Oh, geez, that could take a while. Oh, not that much longer, actually. Ah, uh, all right, guys. I think that actually. Does it for today? I mean, we've been going for eight hours here, and even though I would love to do this last battle for area two, I just don't have it in myself at the moment. But we will continue this game in about 24 hours, actually, on uh, Monday evening. Maybe we might even be able to finish it then. I mean, we don't have that much left, actually, but we'll see about it then. Um, afterwards, I will be taking the rest of the week off, so I will be streaming tomorrow evening at the usual time, and then only uh, starting on next Saturday again, so basically the next weekend. So if we do not finish the game tomorrow, well, we just have to wait for the weekend, the next one. Alright guys, um, I will send you off to the ever-lovely John Shepard. He's playing a pretty fun game at the moment. So if you are into soccer, I think you would actually enjoy that. I've seen him play. It looks pretty fun. Certainly, you know, a bit different from what we've been playing here. But I guess we all could use a rest for our brains for a little bit here. Okay, so thank you so much for coming by, watching me stream here. And I wish you guys the lovely after... Morning, afternoon, evening on this fine Sunday here. Stick around for John Shepard. Say hello to him from me. And I'll see you tomorrow. All right, everyone. Until then. Bye-bye.